Foster now looking down to the right side. He's oh, and there he is. Oh, that didn't take long. Tigers. Miller. That's the guy. That is Miller. That's yeah. his seventh touchdown catch of the year. Yep. They threw it up deep, and they were able to get in the end zone. So the Tigers. Yeah. Sammy, there was 31 seconds. 31 second drive. Off the, yeah. uh, off the clock. Yeah. So a 69-yard drive, three plays, and the Tigers are up 6 nothing. Well, and like we said to start this, that uh, they could hurt you a lot of ways, and they just did it with their studs. The quarterback kept it on the option, and nice read option. Did a great job of that, and then a beautiful pass down into the end zone. So hopefully Niners Florida up for the extra point, and the kick is up and good. And that MyMax detailing extra point puts the Tigers up 7 nothing. 11.29 on the clock. And uh, same, that, that was quick. That was quick, and uh, Floor's gonna have to make some adjustments real quick, and uh, they're gonna have to get some pressure on that quarterback. That's for sure. And in fact, really, you know, as you know, as playing quarterback and has also you know been around a lot of football, is whether the quarterback's got the ball or not. If he makes that fake, you need to hit the quarterback every time. Yes. And you need to hit him hard, and that's about the only chance they got cleanly. Of course, you don't want to knock kid out of the game, but you need to make him know that we come to play and he had nobody in his face on that pass and he got untouched for a while on that run so they're that's, gonna have to hit him you're right that's very important for the mm -hmm. wolves moving forward here now they found themselves in a hole early seven nothing at the 11 29 mark here in the first quarter mm -hmm. only will kick off and uh yeah, that, uh, that Sammy was, was not what a great defensive drive by the wolves that was not no they got picked apart pretty quick there Bring so uh so we shall see Deep back for the Wolves. As Only gets ready to kick off here. So the only Tigers ready to kick off. I can't see who that is. No. Bush King. Bush King back. So he's he needs to run. Yeah, he's got some speed. Oh. He's got to catch that. Takes it off there he the goes. bounce. Oh, take the 15 it back. around the right side. He's got, oh, a he's hole. got a room. He's got a hole in the oh. room. He's brought down. At about the 26 yard line. Nice return. Nice return. But he, mm -hmm. I, Sammy, he let that bounce and then took it and ran. Yep. I think you just got to catch that and go. I think you, you got to catch on the fly. Yeah. yeah. Catch on the fly because that let only kind of close in on you a little bit. But still a nice return. So the Wolves will take their first offensive possession of the night. First and 10. They mark it at the 27 yard line. So first and 10 from the 27. Jace Helm at quarterback. We're going to look one left. They're in a. Oh, oh and we've got, got an offsides on only, I think. A flag on the play, and we're going to have encroachment. Yep, offsides. I'll give the Wolves five yards. That's a free five. Yep, we'll take it. Yep, got to take that. That makes play calling a lot easier when it's well, first, first and five. First five, yeah, mm -hmm. of course. Yep. So Helm will stay in the shotgun. Yep. You know what, if Grand I was Coach Tackett here, right. first and five, I would uh, do a little play action pass. But we'll see what the floor, floor runs. They're gonna hand it off to Johnson all on the left side. He tries to get around the corner and he'll pick up uh, across the- Oh, he got a first down, a nice extra effort going. right there. That Pushing the hard runner, hard up runner. Up to the 40 yard line. And that will be a first down yep, first for down. the Wolves. Yeah. That's a Ford of Tuscola first that down. That is a Ford of Tuscola. That's right. Down small town field break big deals. Go Ford of Tuscola for your next vehicle at 217-253-3353. I like the way the Wolves are answering on yep. this. Helm and shotgun again. Tight formation. Johnson in the backfield. Grant Johnson. Hand off to Johnson. Johnson again. To the right side. Johnson through the line quickly and up to the 47. Eight yards. Take that. Well, he runs hard. He does run very hard. Yeah. That's a nice answer by the Wolves. Yes, we it talked is. to Coach Shaq at Sam before the game started and told him, and he told us, excuse me, that he wanted to control the clock. Yep. But he's going to, he said on the on Thursday's show, behind the mic show, he's going to use all his backs. Right. Got to keep them fresh because a lot of guys are going both ways. The line with a nice surge there, too. Nice push. That's going to be very important tonight yep. for the Wolves. So, Helm, yep. back in shotgun. And almost a pistol here, Sammy. Yes, it is. With a little Johnson different behind him. Mm -hmm. And they're going to hand off again. Johnson's going to look yeah. up. He's going to go over. Yeah, they swarmed him that time. No game. No they're going to bring up third down for the Wolves. Third yeah. about three and a half. Well, and you hope floor on something like that as they're running Johnson that the quarterback's watching that defensive end to see if he's crashing and at some point will pull that, do a nice read option like Olney did. And we know Helm can run too. So right. That's exactly right. Might be so setting them up. Third and three from the Wolves from their own 47-yard run. 
Helm and the shotgun. This is a big third right. down here. This is a big third down. They need an answer here early. The snap. There it is. I called Helm it. Helm around to the right side. Trying to get around the corner. There he goes. Helm across the field. He kept the it. 45 and brought down at the Tigers 41 yard line. And Tony Romo called the play That's right there. <laughs> Yep, he did exactly what we were hoping for. That's First awesome. Down, Wolves down to the only Tiger 41 yard line. Yep, huge run. 938 to go here in the first quarter. Yep. If you're just joining us, uh, the Wolves gave up a three play 69 yard drive in 31 seconds uh, to the Tigers to start the game, but now they're trying to answer. Yep. And that was a huge gain, big momentum right there. Wonderful read by the quarterback. Nice Coming run. The shotgun. Hand off to Johnson up the middle, mm -hmm. and he's not going to get much there. Yep. Maybe six inches. Maybe. They they obviously are going to key on him. He had some success early, but it's all him right now they're looking at. So that'll bring up a second and ten for the Wolves from, their own, from the Tiger 41. Nine minutes to play here in the first quarter. And also in a, in a place like this, when it's second ten and you're now at the 40 of the opposition, uh, you can you don't have to get everything in these next two downs. You know, just keep chipping away. If it's fourth and two or fourth and three, go for it. So, so Helm in the shotgun. Second down and ten for the Wolves from the Tiger 41. Snap, and he'll hand off to Johnson to the left side. He tries to get through the hole. Johnson's going to pick up about three yards. So get across the 40 to about the 38 with the pins really marked here. Looks like they're marking it at the 39, so only a gain of two, Sammy, since so it's up third and long at third and eight. Yeah, now we're at third and eight. And like I said, you know, with a young quarterback like this, you don't have to get everything in this play. If you can get five or six yards, fourth and two, why not after that? No harm done then. <laughs> so hopefully it's uh, – Jace Helm in the shotgun. Third and eight for the Wolves, and we've got a flag. Let's see, are they going to call it on the floor, or is it going to be Only jumping? It's going to be encroachment on Only and right, getting in the neutral zone. That's a free five. Oh, well. Can you go grab the banner that we hung up? I guess it fell. Can you grab it and just bring it in? All right. So that helps. That penalty definitely makes it much more manageable. We're looking at third and three now. Yes, third and three here. Seven fifty to go here in the first quarter. Helm now hands it off. Johnson. Oh, nice spin spins, move. Nice spin, and he gets up to the eyes. Ah, he's he's got to be close. I think that's going to be enough here. for a first down. Are they going to measure that? Oh, are they going to they give it to him or no? No, I think it's I a think little bit short. short. They're not even going to measure that? Oh, that's really close. you got to measure that. Nope, they're giving them the first down. They're going to give them the first. first down. Nice run by Johnson up yep. the middle there. Picks up the first down. It's first and ten. Wolves from the Omni Tiger 30 yards. And I tell you what, you talk about a uh, response from Flora right now. Like I always said, you know, Mike Tyson always used to say, yeah, everybody's got a plan to get hit in the mouth. Well, they got hit in the mouth, but they have answered nicely. So... Looking good on this drive. Jace Helm in the shotgun, takes a snap, hand off. Oh, we got a different one, yep. That looks like Hayden Gibson, and he'll get up to the 25 yard line. A nice run there uh, through the right side, about the, what is that, the, uh, let's see, two, four hole. Ooh, yeah, good for you, good for you. And that's the farthest the Gibson's ran in years. That's right. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's pretty quick. Nice runs, yeah, he's yeah, pretty nice quick. run by Hayden Gibson there. Mm -hmm. yep. So picks up uh, five, second and five. Boy, Seven they are wearing the only down. Quarter. They're controlling the clock like we talked about. Tackett's plan is working so far. No, takes a snap and shot. Oh, and that looks out. Pass. It's a screen Quick pass screen. on the outside. Yeah, they That's too much that King, out. and he doesn't get anything there. Well, they got a couple yards. Hey, it's not bad. Now picked up a couple. Looks yeah. like they're going to mark it at the 27, 23, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Third and short, third and about third and two coming up. Will Floor run right up the middle again as they have been on this drive, pounding at all. Third and three here, 6.25 to go in the first quarter. Floor trails 7 nothing. Johnson back in at tailback. Yep, helm in the shotgun. Hands it off. Yep, running right nice at him. Nice run by Johnson Ooh, up the stuck. middle. That's going to be close to that first gonna be down. Close. This is a no doubt. Very, very, very close. Let's we'll see where they mark it. I think that's going to be just short, Sammy. Yeah, it's going to be just short, but this is a no doubt, or you got to go for this, of course. And I have no doubt it'll be probably Johnson again. So he's been your workhorse thus far. And he's going to, here's the thing with Johnson, as far as I can tell, there's no way he gets stopped at a half yard. He just runs too hard. So, so give him a little bit of push. One 
from the 21. Come on, you're seeing Oh, quarterback sneak. Quarterback keep, and he's going to get it. Oh, boy. And on the spot here, Sammy. Yeah. You'd think forward progress would have got it because they didn't need much, but it depends on the spot. Let's see where they spot it. It's going to be uh, close. Refs looking They're for the right hat. Oh, first down. Nice pick up by Jace Helm. And the only crowd is not pleased, of course. So. Jace Helm picks up the first down on the quarterback keeper. So the Wolves now trail 7 up and 5.38 to play. And this drive is now over six minutes long. And that's exactly what Coach Brian Tackett yep. wanted to do. Yep, keep that offensive only off the field. And I tell you what, if Flora can hang around with them, keep it close by half, anything can happen. That's right. Here's a handoff around the oh. left side to Johnson. He's not going to get much, going to get across the 20 yard line, pick up maybe of one. Oh. <coughs> So they're, they're feeding Johnson the old workhorse. Yep. Yep. But it's a great drive here. It is. They are Over six minutes eating that clock. Five minute mark, second mm -hmm. and nine for the Wolves from the Tigers 19 yard line. Only one pass so far this drive too. They ran the football and done a nice job of it. Though. Yeah, they have. Well, and, and you know, as, any, as a former quarterback, but as a coach, former coach as well, you don't have to throw the ball at this point. If you're running the ball well, there's no reason to put it in the air. Helm in the shotgun, second and nine from the 19. Oh, now and here we go. He's going to throw it. Oh, a double move. He's, he's got a wide open touchdown. 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 That's number 32. Jared Suns Jared with a beautiful Sons. route and a beautiful ball from Helm. That was perfection. That was, so did they kind of lull him to sleep there, Keith Gibson? I think so. Yep. They're looking run, 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 uh -huh. run. And Coach Jackson says, hey, we're going to do with uh, – Corner post here, yep. double move. Boy, he stutter stepped him, and that kid and bit on that. He was wide open, and just a beautiful ball. And that was a perfect opening drive from Flora. What an answer. John McGee now in for the extra point. The MyMax detailing extra point. Kick is up and good. Right. And that is a country financial touchdown with Lisa Erbacher as well from That's Flora. Right. Call Lisa today at 662-3344. Stop into her office in downtown Florida. Get a quote involving life, auto, and home insurance. Beautiful answer by Flora right there. That was impressive. But But a great drive at over, uh, uh, Sam, that was a, almost a seven minute drive there. That was exactly as they wanted to do right there. That's a beautiful answer. Eight a lot of clock, kept their offense off the field, and that was gave seven, the defense seven. a break, and now we're at seven seven. Gave Flora's defense a break to kind of adjust, and now we're going to see what happens. This is going to be a kind of like a chess game almost tonight, it seems like. So these coaches know each other very well, so we'll see who can make the adjustments and who can catch somebody off guard. <clears throat> all right, Floor getting ready to kick off. Hayden Gibson will kick off. We the do-it-all Gibson. We're, we're thanking you for joining us tonight here on the Car Crowd Polaris presentation of the Behind the Mic Show Floor Wolves Football. Mm -hmm. 4.36 on the clock. We are tied at 7 after a almost seven, a 6 minute and 55 second drive by the Wolves. And you talk about two totally opposite teams on offense. One's just going to run it right at you. Oh, and an oh, onside, onside kick. kick. Ooh, and interesting. Tried to catch him off guard, but nice job by 72 for all me. I think you take it deep, make him earn it. I think so. They don't need a short field. The but Tigers will take the onside kick across midfield to the Wolves' 48-yard line, so that's where they'll start their second drive. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Sammy, I think the Wolves' defense has to look uh, past and be on their toes here Yeah. because it was a three-play 31-second drive last, right. last time. On the yeah, out. well, and now they're going to be, of course, keying the quarterback, but you got to watch out for Dorn, number 24. So first and 10 for the Tigers from the Wolves, 48-yard line. Packed house here at Dancy Field. The snap, handoff to going up Dorn. the middle. Yep. And he'll nice be brought down quickly by number 54. That is Landon Back. Back a junior 6'2", 240 defensive lineman. But they were still able to pick up about five there. So second and five for the Tigers, they're quickly to the line. Second and five from the Wolves, 43. High snap. Right. Now they're going to go Quick screen to the receiver. And the breakdown will get around the outside. He's Miller still again. Miller. Oh, wow. And he'll pick up a first down as he gets across the 35 to the 34-yard line. And a great hit by number 42 from Flora Drew Howe. He came in flying, so that's a nice hit. Maybe set the tone a little bit. First and 10, Tigers. Uh, just under four to go here in the first quarter. Tied at seven. Snap, handoff, 
Dorn. Dorn. Oh, nice job by Florida. Nowhere to go there. Yeah. Nice job as Dorn tried to go on the left side. Wrapped up quickly. And that was number 42 Howard Again. for the Wolves. Yep. So now it brings up second and 10. No gain on the play for the Tigers. Kind of lulling them to sleep here. Watch the pass. Number 12, Miller. Get ready. Miller now. Or handoff. To oh, the there's quarterback. the quarterback. Keeper. Quarterback Foster off. keeps it around the right yeah. side again. He's got some open lane. Down the 15, the 10, the 5, and knocks out of bounds at the 6 yard line. That's just assignment football, is all that is. Coach Music told us on the um, Thursday show that that's what their plan was. They yep. were going to run the football with Foster. Yep. That's what he's doing. He wanted to keep Tackett's defense, defense awesome. He didn't want to have them sitting back, knocking down passes. Now they're going to have to respect the run. And that is, you know, somebody's job. you got a key on that quarterback on an option. So, so first and goal for only from the six, four or six yard line. 321 to play here in the first quarter. Hand off. Going up the middle. Oh. And he's going to get it. Yeah, touchdown. Boy, they score quick. They score quickly. And you hear the Cowboys. That's an all-in Tiger touchdown. Mm -hmm. 3.16 to go in oh, the first quarter. Oh, Stone Cold, Stone Cold. <laughs> the glass is breaking Stone Cold. 7 lead. <laughs> That's right. Boy, that didn't take long to answer. Well, and Keith, here's, here's the uh, problem. I don't know if Floor is built offensively to get into a shootout. This is the last thing they that's, wanted is to go back and forth. That's exactly right. The uh, My Man detail an extra point is going to happen here for Oni. And the kick is up and... Oh, no good. No, no good. good. That may prove important down the road. So the Oni Tigers at the 316 mark in the first quarter lead 13-7. So, so far, a lot of fireworks here tonight, Keith. Back and forth, more offense than I thought we'd see. So we'll see if both teams can settle in defensively and make a stop. Or it could end up being a 50 to 40 game, which I am totally fine with. More offense, the better, so. And if you're just uh, joining us or uh, I shared the, the stream again, we had a couple of people got a couple of texts so they weren't able to get in. Uh, it's all right, we got you, got you there, but uh, we got one listener says maybe not a squib kick next time. We talked about that. Yeah, that, that is well, and that's one of those deals where if it works, you look like a genius. If not, you get the you know you look like a, you know you don't know what you're doing. People will say that. So it didn't work. So they're gonna say, oh, why'd you do that? But if it worked, oh, what a great call. So you try to catch them off guard, you know, and and maybe there's a little pressure there of. Yeah, boy, if we could get the ball back, that'd be great because I'm not sure we can stop them, you know, with the way the offense is looking. And this is exactly what only we thought they'd look like. They look like they are unstoppable on offense so far. And the ensuing kickoff deep. It'll be taken by number 22 to around the right side. Daniel Day-Lewis. Day Daniel Day-Lewis is going to be right. across the 30-yard line or right at it. Nice mm -hmm. return, good field position. Yes. And he was fantastic in Lincoln, was he not? He was. What a performance. Yeah. So Academy Award winning, and now he's playing high school football for the Florida Wolves. What an honor. So uh, Daniel Lewis, the 5'11", 175-pound senior, brings it back to the Wolves 31-yard line. So we kick off 3-10 to play here in the first quarter. Omni leads floor 13-7. And the Wolves start their second possession of the ball game. And by the way, that last touchdown pass to Florida had, they threw it on Miller, who has six interceptions this year, but they put a move on him, so it works. So let's see what they go to now. Helm in the shotgun. It's going to be a handoff to Johnson up the middle. Not much there. Maybe picks up one, maybe two, but not much uh, traction there. Hold close quickly, Sammy. Yeah, it did, and I, I'm starting to wonder about, uh, you know, running right between the tackles. It seemed like they had some success running outside, so let's see if they maybe do a little more quarterback option, quarterback read. So they give him one to the 32-yard line. Second and nine, 245 on the clock. Wolves trail 13-7. Lineman come. Split out wide right. Helm in the shotgun. Johnson to his right. Here's a snap. Hand off to Johnson again. He's going to be wrapped oh, up in the back, in the back for a loss. Back at the 28-yard line. That's a loss of three on the play. Yeah. We've seen that play called quite a bit, so we need to maybe mix it up a little bit. Third and long here, so you know what's coming. Or is it maybe a quarterback draw? Well, I think, I think Coach Tackett might go the air here, third and 12. Mm -hmm. One thing is for certain, you don't want to keep, but only have great field position again. No, you, you do not. play that field no. position game here. Yeah. Well, let's see, we got two wide right, two wide left. Spread. Yep. Aaron Sons out far left. Helm in the shotgun. Oh, now back motions. 
And now we're going to pass. He steps back. And now Brooks gets chased on the pocket. And he's going to have Ooh, nowhere to go. Takes his shot. Tackle down at the 26 yard line. Trying to make something happen. He's yep. got to get rid of the football once he gets out of the pocket, Sammy. Well, the problem, yeah, there is that, but he tried to make something happen. He's still going to punt the ball, but it's better than throwing it up for grabs. So he's an so, athlete trying to make something happen with his legs. Fourth down for the Wolves from their own 28-yard line. Looks like Helms the punter as well. Yes, he is. I mean, he's a very high punter. 13-7 only leads with just over a minute to play, a minute 10. Helm back to punt for the Wolves. And snap, clean snap, clean punt. Nice and high over towards the right. And it's gonna oh, take a nice floor bounce. of bounce down to about the 43 yard line of the Alney Tigers. So field position again for Alney. They, they've got it almost midfield, Sammy. What yep. you gotta look at here now is the defense is gonna come up with something. You gotta do something, gotta mix it up. So whatever you've done, that's obviously not working. So you're gonna have to change it up. And I know Coach Tackett talked about maybe going with the three-man front to start out with, but the quarterback's just eating them alive as he's doing you know, a nice job well, of reading. Like we went to four now. Yep, I think they've mixed it up, so that's good. So the Tigers will have first and 10 at their own 43, leading 13-7 with 57 seconds to go in the first quarter. But now up top, only seeing that they got more people in the box, so we watch them get ready to light up the night sky. Oh, there's Dorn again. Dorn and a flag on the play. Flag on the play. Pink flag tonight, Yeah, Sammy. very nice. Breast cancer awareness in October. So the cheerleaders have pink pom-poms, which is nice. Pink socks. Refs throwing pink flags. We got, what did we get on that? Right, we got a hold. Very nice. Moving back 10. So. Dorn was able to pick up five or six on there, but the, the holding flag will negate that. Mm -hmm. So let's see where they mark it off from. So that's the first mistake on offense for only. Three as there have not been many mistakes. Well, that's a big flag, Sammy. Yes, it is. That's a 10-yarder, oh, so yeah. uh, he says, scoot back, boys. Yep, got to move them on back. Can't so do that. No, no. <laughs> so that will give only uh, first and 20 mm -hmm. from the 33. As they are in shotgun, two wide each way. Now there's a quarterback keeper again, and, and they Foster's can't. Oh, they did a better, better job. Time, Very nice. Nice job there. Yep, and that's the adjustment they made with four down linemen. Got to watch him. And once again, keep hitting him if you're floor. You got to. He picked up about three on the carry to the 36. So second and 17 with under 35 seconds to play in the first quarter. Only leads four, 13 to seven. Got a bunch out here to the right. So they've got the receivers bunched up. Probably might be a quick screen. Maybe a jailbreak know, screen. Three, three, three wide right, one left. Going in the backfield. Hand off the oh, door. Up the oh. middle. He's got some room. And he's across the 45. Got a lot of yardage back right there. And they're going to mark him down at the 47 yard line. That's a big game there. Yeah, but we're still looking at oh, about yeah, third. At 46, Sammy. Yep. So third and seven as the first quarter ends. And the first quarter ends. So the first quarter is in the books here at Dancy Field on homecoming and on the Shriners game night. The Alney Tigers lead 13 to seven. And Sammy, let's talk about this first quarter. A very well played first quarter side for Alney besides the holding penalty. I mean, offensively, they are exactly as what it looked like in the stats. And when you get to see it in person, it is impressive. They look like a fine oiled machine. Uh, people are getting wide open on the outside. The quarterback is definitely putting on a show. He can do it all. So uh, that is definitely who they need to be keying on at this point. But you can't key on him too much because then there goes Dorn. So once again, as you know, Coach Sweet Chin Music talked about, you know, they can beat you a lot of different ways with their balance. So they have done that so far. Well, it's going to be very – this is a big third down to start the second quarter for the Wolves. Mm -hmm. Third and seven from uh, the Tigers' own 46. Yep. They can stop here and force a punt. They actually get good field position, too, and can start another yeah. drive. Yeah, this is big for Floor right here. They need to get this big third down stop. And by the way, since we got a break <laughs> in the action, basically like a timeout, we want to thank one of our sponsors, Back to Action Chiropractic. Uh, called Dr. Katie Burmeister today to schedule an appointment with locations in Flora and Salem. That's so right. We appreciate uh, mm -hmm. Back to Action Chiropractic being one of our great sponsors. We've already got to talk about uh, country financial agent Lisa Erbacher. My Max Detailing. We talked about Ford of Tuscola, Car, Cal Car Corral, and Polaris. Back to action. SIWI. So we appreciate all of our sponsors tonight. Mm -hmm. As we begin the second quarter from Dancy Field, third and seven for the Tigers. Two wide right, more of a more of a bunch formation here, Sammy, a little more tight. Yeah, and the defensive backs for Flora are playing way off, especially in the slot. I wonder if Olney's gonna take advantage of that. 
Dorn in the backfield. Corners are a good Foster. seven yards off. Foster in the shotgun. As we start the second quarter, here is the snap. Foster will look the pass. He's got some pressure. Got a guy and wide open in the middle. Yep. And that's, that's a problem when you're off that deep. Yeah. And that's going to be a Florida Tuscola first down, down to the 41 yard line of the Wolves. Yeah, Keith, they give they gave them a lot of cushion on that, and they they took what they gave them. You know, only needed seven or eight yards, and they got it. So now the Tigers have first and ten from the Wolves 41. Three wide left. Dorn in the backfield, Foster and shotgun. And it's going to be a handoff to Dorn around the right side, but wrapped up quickly for almost minimal gain. Yep. Floor has done tackle. a nice job with Dorn so far. They have done that. A nice mm -hmm. job there. That was Bo Probst. Oh, son of dynamic Donnie Probst. That's right. Yeah. Probst Good player. Mm -hmm. yep. Probst a 5'7 freshman. Oh, Ooh. Wow. I tell you what, the future is bright for Floor. Their, uh, their JV program is doing exceptionally well. They're undefeated. So they're building on something here, which is nice to see. Second and nine for the Tigers, back in shotgun. Not a lot of pressure, the pass is completed. Yeah. And that's to number two, that is Bryce, Bryce Connor, 5'10", yeah. junior. Keith, here's the problem that I'm seeing. That quarterback's got all day back there to throw. He is feeling no pressure. He's tall anyway, you can see over there. And that was just a nice pitch and catch. Very easy for him, very simple. So the Tigers now first and 10 at the Wolves 30. They leave for 13-7. Only now in shotgun. One wide receiver left, two right. Dorn in the backfield, next to Foster. Foster takes a snap, hands it off to Dorn. Oh. He's got trouble. Oh, oh a nice and play. Almost brought down, he's gonna get brought down in the got backfield. Got him for a loss. Number say, 62 62 blow the whistle. For the Wolves, Sam Duquesne with a big hit on Dorn. 6'2", 240, big kid, nice play. Great play by Duquesne. Uh-oh, we got an injury. I think now, just, just, yeah, there was a big pile up there, so they're finally getting them picked up. So that's a great stop by the defense there. Great read by Duquesne to doing his job, staying in place. What do I, oh, referees are talking here. Oh, we got a false start. False start. What? Why did we run that play then if we got a false start? Yeah, that's interesting. Well, will the coaches decline it? Due to the, where they got to tackle in the backfield? Or? I think you've got to decline that, Sam. That's a, that's a deep. Oh, well, now they're saying illegal shift on Alney. Interesting as we watch here. Yeah, I, I'm not real sure what that call was. But, uh, I don't think they really know themselves right yeah. now. A lot of discussion out there. So, oh, we're doing a legal shift again. Yeah, oh, they're declining fun. it. Good job. So, I, to bring up second yep. down. Mm -hmm. And about 17, a great job by Duquesne. I'm starting to think maybe the ref was doing the Macarena or something, as many hand movements as he was doing, like, we'll make up your mind, but we've got it figured out now. Second and 17 for the 37, Tigers. Two wide each side, Dorn in the backfield, Foster in the shotgun. And it, oh! Dorn have a false start. Did the defense the draw them offsides, though? That's what the refs are going to talk about here. It's either a false start or they were drawn because we had a little movement yeah, but from Flora. You can do that. You can, you can come to line and see what they're oh, yeah, false, false start. start. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and Alney is not happy again. Ooh. We got some. So, see, that's going to bring up second and 22. Now right. the Tigers, or the Wolves, 42. Yep. But as we've seen, Really doesn't matter to only at this point. So Flores really got to step it up here on defense, make a stop. Two wide receivers each side. Dorn in the backfield. Falls from shotgun. Takes a snap. Now going out the door in the flats. Pass. Nobody's there. Nobody's there. He's going to pick up a big game. Man, well they got all that back. And a close to a uh, yeah, they're going to be just shy of a first down, Sammy. Yeah, that was a big game. There was nobody on the running back coming out of the backfield. They're going to mark that down the 28 yard line. A 14 yard gain. Mm -hmm. About third and seven to go. Still another big defensive stand here for the Wolves has got to happen. Got to have it. And, uh, you know, it only with as, as good as they feel on offense, I'm, I'm not sure we aren't in four-down territory here. Two wide receivers each side. Foster and shotgun. Dorn to his right. Third and seven. He'll drop back all the time in the world. He looks to pass, and it Wide is complete. Up. That is complete to number 14. That's Jace Greenwood. Keith, right now, Floor is giving them so much cushion on the outside. All those guys are doing is running to the first down marker and turning around, and nobody's around. It's just pitch and catch out there. They're going to have to play some bump and run or something. That was down to the 13-yard line, so first and 10 Tigers. And the Wolves are getting in a danger zone right, right here. On the left, Foster now. 
Hands off to Dorn. Dorn oh. around the right. Looks oh, like nice cut back. Cut. Oh, running oh, hard. Yeah. It's a great run. Short down to the four yard line. So that'll pick up the second and one now. That was a nice cut by That was a beautiful right cut back, yeah. He's a good back. Read the blocks well, made a nice cut back, and boy, they're knocking on the end zone here. 9.41 to go here in the second quarter in the first half. 13-7, Tigers lead. They're threatening again. Foster and shotgun. And he will keep Foster it this time keeps. up the middle behind Oh, him. great job. Nice job by Grant Johnson wrapping him up, but that looks like it's going to be enough for a Tiger first down. That's a big stop, though. They are doing a little bit better on that quarterback no, read. No, they're going to say didn't get enough. Didn't get I thought he might have stopped one. him at the line, yeah. Nice play by Johnson. If you're Coach Tackett here, Sam, do you, uh, you get some blitzes going here and try to get some you, pressure? you got to get some pressure. And really going forward, I mean, you're, you're he can't just sit back there all day and throw. Oh, they're going to go tight here. Good One wide part. receiver each way. They're going tight. Foster now will hand off. And that's first gonna down, be a first though. down. Not a touchdown, Dorn's gonna but get a first the hand down. Off and, and get yeah. pick about two. So it'll be first and goal for the Tigers. 8.56 left in the second quarter. Florida Tuscola first down, small town field, great big deals. Call Florida Tuscola, your next vehicle. 217-253-3353. Proud sponsor and partner of the Behind the Mic Show. Sammy going power eye here. Oh yeah, they're just gonna run it right at him. And Dorn now will try to get in, but he's oh, gonna be Oh, I think they stopped. stopped him short. Great job there by the Wolves defense. That's number 54. Landing back on the stop. And 22, Daniel Day-Lewis again in on the tackle. So I'll bring up second. I think they actually lost the yard there. I think they did. That was a nice play. <laughs> Boy, if, if the Wolves can somehow hold here, that will be huge. Huge. Second and goal for the Tigers. And they've got They're a lineman again. in the backfield as a lead blocker as well. Oh, and, and the quarterback keeps rolling out. Happen. Got a guy wide oh, open if he wants to throw it. No, nope, he's going to run. And, and ran right past. Touchdown, Tigers. A run by the quarterback keeper on the right side. Really loud. That's a loud cowbell. Yeah. <laughs> Quarterback yeah. keeper around the right side for Foster, and he'll, he runs into the end zone to put the Tigers up 19 to 7 at the 818 mark in the first half. And the Wolves just don't have an answer right now, Sam. They don't. They they can't stop them offensively. This is what they were, you know, we were kind of worried about that it might get out of hand and uh Florida definitely has to answer coming back. And can they offensively? They, they might have to open up the playbook a little bit. And the extra point by my Max detailing up and good. So it's 20 to seven, Tigers lead the 818 mark here in the first half. And uh, yeah, the Wolves have to answer. They can't get down anymore. No. This needs to be no. an eight minute, 18, 18 second drive, Sam. Yeah. For the Wolves I was gonna say, and not give the ball back. I was gonna say, they gotta the eat the clock and they gotta score. If they, <laughs> if they don't score here uh, and somehow only, if, even with all these offense, I think if you give them 40 seconds, it's too much because they can hurt you quickly. So it's one of the most, one of the more impressive offenses I've seen this year. I tell you, it, it is a very impressive offense. They, they're, uh, as Coach Music said on the show Thursday, a three-headed monster. Yep, they and we've pass, seen it. They can run. Yep, they can. They're spreading the ball out, passing as well. Right. You know, it's it's not every pass is going to fall, not going to uh, no. Miller. Yeah. So they're spreading it out very nicely. So the Tigers will kick off to the Wolves. Back deep for the Wolves is Michael Bush King. And the Tigers will kick from the 48 18 to go here in the first half. 20 to 7, only leads Flora. And kick off, and it's deep. And hits about the 10, and that's taken over to the left. That's Drew Howe, and Howe comes back up the middle. And he's going to bring it across the nice 30 return. to about nice the 32 return. yard line. So a nice return by Howe there for the Wolves. And now is where the Wolves really need to, to step up. I share the man. Oh, okay. All right. Well, and by the way, we want to give a shout out as I look across the field up in the booth to Mac Daddy. Larry McGrew. Larry McGrew. I can see him over there, the silver haired fox. <laughs> no doubt giving you some wonderful play-by-play -play, so all right so here's the wolves they'll start first and ten from their own 32 trailing 20 to 7 8 12 to go in the first half helm in the shot going gun. to the air and nope. it's going to be a handoff and that's going to be looks like the drew howell on the left side and he'll pick up just a couple so they're sticking with uh 
with what they did on the first drive, just kind of milking the clock, hoping to get some yardage. But at some point, Keith, do you have to open up the playbook a little bit? Or can Florida really get into a shootout with Olney? I don't think you want to get in a shootout no. with the Tigers. Um, Olney's offense is very, very good. Mm -hmm. I think if you're the Wolves, you've, you've got to try to control the clock here and keep that at a minimum. Right. So the Wolves come back to the line, second and nine from their own 33. Got Bush King spread out wide right. Helm will take the snap and hand it off again. That's Grant Johnson up the middle, and Grant's going to get to about the 35, but nothing. Yeah, they continue to try to run up the middle. So that's going to bring up uh, third and seven for the Wolves, and once again, you're in a passing down. Yeah, now it's time to put it on the sophomore court, and you got to get a first down here. You punt here, only gets the ball back. We may be, uh, might be trouble land yeah. for Flora. So. so let's see what we do here. Third and seven of the Wolves from their own 35 yard line. Two wide right, Alex Wiles out to the right. Suns as well, two out to the left. Man in motion. That's Johnson. They fake the handoff. Uh -huh. Now Hill back keep, keep it over to the uh, 37. Nice pickup, but short. He's going to get to about the 37 or 38 yard line. Yeah. Now they're going to they're going to mark it at 39. Sam, it's still going to be short. Short. Yeah. Well short, about three There's, yards. I'm not sure Flora can really go for this right now. No, you don't no, get it. It's definitely game team. over. Yep. Punt team's coming out. Floor's lining up to punt. So fourth and three for the Wolves, and then Jace Helm back to punt. What do you think of that uh, offensive series there, Keith? I, I think we should, we should have to go the air a little bit more. We're going to have to switch some things up. Helm's mm -hmm. got some pressure, gets the punt off. Decent punt. And that's going to land at about the 30, and they're going to mark it down at the Tiger 27-yard line. So with 6.06 to go here in the first half. The Wolves trail 20 to seven. And we haven't had any turnovers yet, Keith, but if you are having turnovers with your workforce and trouble finding good help, contact SIWI at 618-662-7494. Stop by their office in downtown Flora. Do a great job of filling your turnover needs with new That's staff. Right. Yeah, we haven't had one yet tonight. We have not. So the Tigers started their drive, first and 10 at their own 27, 606 on the clock. Foster. The floor's bringing pressure. Back deep, still Didn't no get to him. Might be a pick and, and a, a big pick. And that's number two. Daniel Day-Lewis, Day big Lewis. pick. And boy, if there was ever, and there it is. I called it for SIWI. I got a big turnover right there. And boy, if there was ever a turnover needed, that is exactly what Flora needed right there. That was a high pass off the yep. hands of number one. That's Jaden Fleming right in the hands of Daniel Day-Lewis. Lewis takes it back to the Omni Tiger. 34. Yeah. So the Wolves have even better field position now. Than they did. Right. Yeah. So that With punt worked out well. To go here in the first yep. half. Yep. A day, day Lewis, you know, early on in the game was maybe a, you know, going for sporting actor, but uh, right at, now he's in the lead role. You look at some slants here. Do something. Yeah, I think you got to open it up offensively. You got to get the ball outside. They keep running right up the middle and Helm it's, and you know, and see what he does here and it's a handoff to Johnson. The there, broke it off left tackle. Yeah. And he's going to pick up some nice yards right. here across the 30. Yep. And that's what they've done. Only is stacking the box. They're daring floor to throw. And if they're stacking that box and they've got eight or nine people in the box, you've got to run outside or throw the ball outside. So, so it's going to bring up a second and seven for the Wolves from the 30-yard line. Just, just across the 30. Get close. Not on the 31, not on the 30. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, 30 and a half. Yeah, 30 and a half. Right, yeah. Flora's taking their time, trying to eat some clock. If they can score here, Keith, it's 20 to 14 at half. I think Flora would take that. I think I think you're right, Sam. I think that's yeah. a great call. Mm -hmm. Helm in shotgun, Johnson to his right. You got Alex Wiles out to the far right. Yeah. Press coverage up and on here's him. Here's a handoff to Johnson again up the middle. He's got nowhere to go. I, yeah. He tried to break it off to the left, but nowhere to go. But they're swarming, and once again, they've got the box stacked. Flora is going to have to get out of their comfort zone a little bit if they want to move the ball. But they've got plenty of time. Yep, just definitely under deep five minutes in. to play here in the first half. 20 to 7. Flora deep into only territory right now. Was, that was a big pick by Daniel Davis. That was huge. Had to have that. That's a break that they desperately needed. So third and six and another passing situation for the Wolves. 435 to go on the clock here in the second quarter. They trail 20 to 7. Wiles out to the right. Helm in the shotgun. 
Johnson in the backfield, and they're going to hand off to him again. Nope. No, keeper, gonna keeper keep by him. him. He's got a block. And flags play. everywhere. Flag, and it looks like it's probably going to be holding. Be a while. Yep. We got pink flags, yellow flags, white flags. Oh, it's raining flags. flags here right now, so that's going to be moved back. And now, Flora, who likes to run the ball, that puts them in an even worse position because now it's going to be third and very long. Yep. We're going to have a hold, so it's going to be in third and 16. Yep. And once again, you're in a position of your floor. You don't have to try to get all 16 yards back at once, you know. Get a good chunk out, 10 yards, or make it a manageable fourth and six. Go from there. So let's see what floor can dial up. Third and 16 from the 40, the Tigers 42. Yeah, that's a that hurts. That flag well, right 19, there. Hurts. Excuse me, from Ooh. the 42. That's that's even worse, Sammy. Yes, it is. So surely we'll see some wide receivers out here. We got Alex Walls out to the right. We got Michael Bushking out to your left. Helm in the shotgun. We need a big play here from the Wolves. Snap back to Helm. Helm drops back. Going he's deep, he's got a man left. If he got a step on him there, and throws got it, throw it, he got to throw it out of bounds. And over the head of Bushking. Yeah. And unable to complete that. So it's going to be up fourth and 19. Yep, floor is going to punt. And I think that's a smart thing here. Push it back deep. Yeah, maybe flip the field, maybe get the ball back. Man, you hate to not take advantage of that turnover. Once again, we want to thank our presenting sponsor, Car Corral Polaris. Visit Car Corral Polaris in Flora, Fairfield, and Carmine. For all your off-road and ATV needs, call 618-662-2641 or visit carcorralpolaris.com. So what are we doing Wolves now? Do here. We're delaying the game. Whoa, oh, wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. What are we doing here? We got a more confusion. Sammy, did we miss a flag? I uh, no. Oh, gosh, yeah, you get it. <laughs> the refs are walking back and forth, trying to figure <laughs> out what's <laughs> going on. Hey, there we go. He's put it down, and somehow they oh they did get a flag on only that makes it. Now we're replaying oh, well, third, third down. Third. Uh, did you see that? I never saw a flag, so I'm not sure what happened there. We're back to third and 19. That was a five-yarder, so it had to be something. I think what they did was whenever they did the holding, they moved it farther back, so they're replaying it down. It should have been third and 16. Yeah. yeah. So they get a chance here. Floor's got a second so chance. In shotgun. Two wide That's interesting. Right. One right. Drops back. He's oh, got pressure. Oh, a lot of pressure. Throws it and out of bounds. With a nice job. Now, that was a good job by Helm to get rid of the ball. Yes, and it not was. Take the sack. Yeah. And, and another flag. flag. Holding. Yeah, holding for on the Wolves. And we're gonna move again. That's not good when you hold and still there's a lot of pressure on the quarterback. <coughs> so that's gonna make it uh, well, if you're only do you decline this? Well, when you when they're this deep into your territory, you may have to take that to push them back a little farther. Because you don't want them to punt and then you're on, you know, your own two or something like that. A lot of bad things can happen when you're right down by your own end zone. Holding on the walls. It's going to be declined. It is declined. Okay. Well, see, I may know something. Keith Gibson, do you call a fake punt here? No, I do not. <laughs> not down to seven to four oh nine on the clock. <laughs> and you never know. Could dial up a little something here. Well, fourth and fourteen from the thirty-seven. I'm really to a point where he, Keith, though, you got to take chances if you're Flora, you know. So, well, I think, but I, I, think, I think, think they know a fake punt's coming as you see them lined up. Nobody's back deep nobody's for them. Nobody's deep for the Tigers. Yeah. And, and he goes it. and punts. That's, oh, that's, that's a, a nice punt. punt. Get a roll here. Get on it. Get yep, on it, boys. Yep, yep, and that's yep. going to be that's inside. That's going to be a great punt. The, the five down to the uh, right at the six. Great punt by Chase Holmes. Nice yes, it was. Punt. Yes, it was. Beautiful punt. Only was expecting the fake, which I don't blame them at all. So 20 to 7 only leads here in the second quarter. Four minutes to play in the first half. Sam Irwin. Uh, my, my colleague and color guy tonight, Keith Gibson, here giving you play-by-play -play from the Behind the Mic show. We thank Clark Corral Polaris for allowing us to do this this evening. Yeah, and I'm hoping at halftime, Flora makes some adjustments on all. The thing that Wolves have to do here is not let all these score before There's no, Yeah, if they score here, it's probably ball game. You hate to say that, First but... First 10 Tigers from their own six-yard line. The Wolves need a big pick or a defensive stop here. There's a snap. And, uh -oh. we're and flag, another flag. Which tells me one thing, it's going to be a false, false start, start on the Tigers, so that's going to be half the distance. So that's going to be half the distance, so first and 13 from the three yard, their own three. Yeah. <clears throat> But you, as you know, Sammy, only can pick up yardage in big chunks. Yeah. Foster in shotgun. He's got Dorn to his left. 
One wide receiver left, one wide right. I think you got to send pressure. And they're going to hand it off to Dorn. Up the middle. He's Boy, pick running up right some. at him, man. He's going to pick up about the 11 yard line. That's an eight yard gain. Gets him out of the out of the hole there. So now, second and five. Second and five here. Mm -hmm. And Tigers aren't uh, aren't wasting any time here. They're they're back in shotgun. They're going to go here. Oh yeah, Hand no off. huddle offense. Hand off to Dorn again. Dorn again. He's going to get uh, about to the 15. Looks like that would be in just short. Yep, just short. Third and one. Just short, so third and one for the Tigers here. Clock continues to run. 3.20 to play in the, in the half. Foster, handoff again to Dorn, and he will, I don't That's know if he got it. Yeah, it's first down. Yep, he's gonna pick up a first down, so first down Tigers as he comes across the middle. Yep. And Miller for all, he's coming back in, so he'll be, looks like split out wide right. So only with two wide right, two wide left. Foster in the shotgun, Dorn yep. to his left. Yep. Yeah, if I'm only here, I take a shot deep. You got Three plenty of time. The there he goes, Snap drops back, back. yep. Oh, That's he's going to 13 and slot. A slot. He'll be right Big game. That's a completed pass down to the 34 yard line. That's completed number 13, Brandon Bergner, the 5'10 sophomore. They have done a great job of spreading the ball around. It's, it's not been a one man show for the receivers. The quarterback is picking them apart. So two wide each way for Foster again in the Tigers. Going to his right. And Wolf's gonna come up with a big stop here. 245 on the clock. Foster, no pressure. He's got some now. Oh, he's going Throw deep. Gets hit and it's gonna be incomplete. Hey, they got some nice pressure on the quarterback that time. That's what they've got to do. Jace Greenwood. Yes, great pressure that time. That pressure was great. That came from number 36. Bo Propes again. Dynamic Donnie's boy, Bo Propes. But that ballistic stops the bow? clock. Can we call him ballistic bow? Or? That's not bad, yeah. yeah. Great Dynamic job, great Donnie pressure ballistic there. Bow. But I, I'm still, once again, I know they don't want to give anything deep, but they've been playing this way all night. Flora has sagged way off with their corners. But right now I get it because you don't want anything going past Hand you. off the door and a nice job there. He picks up maybe a couple. And that's number 62 for the Wolves. Looking that at about 30. Sam Duquesne on the stop. Clock continues to run, 225 to play in the first half. Wolves trail 20 to seven. Always kind of flipping this a little the bit. They're eating up a little clock here. They don't want to give Flora the ball back. Definitely taking their time. Well, they get to the line and get ready quickly though. Oh yeah. Two wide right, right. two wide left, going to the backfield on Foster's right. He's in the shotgun, takes a snap. He'll look to the right. Man, and because the cornerbacks are sagging off. Completed pass yep. to the 45 and finally brought down by Grant Another Johnson first down. At the 46, yep. and that's enough for an Olney Tiger first down as we go under two minutes to play in the half. Olney continues to take advantage of the soft coverage on the outside. So first and 10 Tigers from the, their own 46. They stay spread on two on each side in this air raid offense. Foster, a little bit of pressure, and he's got nothing there, incomplete, as he was looking to the right. That was good pressure there. It looked like it Grant was Johnson. Johnson. Yep, Johnson again. And if you look, all he's looking at the wristbands. They've all got the plays under there. Everybody's going. That's why they're moving so quick, so fast. Everybody's. It's just like seven on seven out there, but they've got linemen. Yep. So they've got three wide left now. Dorn in the backfield. Foster, the quarterback, in the shotgun. Dorn, the running back, to his right. One on the right side, out wide. Foster takes the. The snap across right over the, the middle, middle for another, and same, that's all they're doing, short Just seven. Just nickel and diamond, rolls. nickel and diamond, yep. Well, nickel and dime, baby. Nickel, nickel and dime. dime. Well, if they're, if they're just, uh-oh, holding, coming back. Oh, when a guy, Wolves get a break there. They get another break, yep. So a big break for the Wolves. And once again, I understand why you're sagging off. You don't want them to go deep, but at the same time, if they're getting 10, 12 yards at a time, and they've still got all their timeouts left, they can move the ball down the field pretty quickly. But that holding definitely helps. That helps big time for the Wolves. Minute 39 on the clock and uh, only leads 20 to seven. At halftime, we'll talk uh, a little bit about the first half and talk about a behind the mic show and maybe we'll bring us some Maybe our favorite we'll... homecoming memories as well. Do you have any homecoming memories? Any dance moves that you really pulled oh, off? Dance moves? Well, I, well, that's just a silly question. I mean, I, mean, I had the mole yeah. dance. Right, well, that's all you need. I mean, I, 20, yeah. I graduated 20 years ago this year, Sam. Oh, well, congratulations. We'll yeah, I, mine was first a, a lot longer than that. First and long yeah. for the Tigers in 20. Bringing pressure. On uh, 34 yard line. Now we'll swing we'll pass swing up pass the outside. Up. Yeah. Oh, a hole, but no call. And he's gonna get around the outside on the screen. Oh, and didn't wrap up. Big play. 
Finally Big brought play. down at the 38 yard line of the Wolves. More tackling there, Sam, and Gavin yep. Dorn was able to get to the 38 of the Wolves. Didn't wrap up, had him, had him dead to rights on the sideline and didn't wrap up. Lowered his head and he spun right around him. And we got another flag. Yeah, one oh, ball. another they flag. They did call over. that holding. Good. Yep. That was pretty blatant, so I'm glad they saw that one. So Olney basically continues to let Flora hang around. And when you've got somebody down like they've got, you got to take advantage of it. Olney fans are not happy with that. Sam. They are not happy. No, they have been unhappy quite often tonight with some it's of the like calls. It's a drunken sailor who's taking away his beer. They're not happy like that. That's right. <laughs> a lot of R's right R. <laughs> So they're going to call the holding at about the... Um, Oh, they're going to call block in the back. Oh. So it'll be first and 20. At the 36. Now they're going to redo second. I'm yeah. all confused. Second and second. Second and 18 now. Yes, sir. Foster. Throwing out to the swing it out to the back There's again. And he's got And Dorn. they are not Dorn tackling. Dorn is tough. Once he gets ahead of steam and gets and outside, he's, he's out to the, looks tough. like the 48 of the road. Short of the first down. Yep. That swing pass, all it, it, all it is is a swing pass. It's a thing. swing pass. It's very simple, but Outside nobody's covering the back. Swing to the right. They yep. haven't ran out to the left yet. No, they have not. Nope. Nope. They just swing it out there. Flora hasn't covered it yet, so why wouldn't you keep going to it? Minute 21 on the clock here in the half. Only leads 20 to 7. They got three wide receivers left, one right. Dorn in the backfield. Foster in the shotgun. Oh, there's quarterback. Keep, keep again on the and read. Boy, the right he's good side. at that. He's got a hole. And he's going to be not brought down yet. And he's going to Flores having going. trouble tackling now. And he's keep going. And he's Ooh. all the way down to the 21-yard line. And Sam, they're getting big chunks here. Caleb Foster again. time off the clock. Right. Yep. They move quickly. Once again, he was smart enough to, to get out of bounds a little bit, but they're starting it up. They've still got all their timeouts. So they've got plenty of time. So first and 10 for the Tigers at their well, at the Wolves 21. 101 to play on the clock. Snap back to Foster. Foster looks All right. Day. And that's going to be Ooh. incomplete. Ooh, that got, about got away from him. If but you're once, Wiles there, Wiles playing off there. If you're Wiles, you go hit him. Yeah. Hit him. You gotta, I think you got to have some. They're just. They, well, they're, it's they're, a seven, eight yard curl and it, just turn yeah. around and catch the ball. That's all they're doing. They're, they're taking what you're given and they're doing very well. Once again, the quarterback standing back there with no pressure and just doing what he does. Let's see what Foster does here. Second and 10 from the Wolves 21. He's got two wide receivers left, including Miller way out left and three right, Sammy. Five wide receivers. Yep. Quarterback and he's going to keep it in the middle. Yep. And he's going to get through the line somehow and then brought down. Tough run by the Wolves at about the 14 yard line. So they were getting doses of Dorn. Now we go right back to Foster taking Under care of things. Under 40 seconds to play in the half. Plenty of time. Third and five here for As the, the fans yell, watch Tigers. the clock as if the coaches don't know. Well, this is I always enjoy the, that at games. For the Wolves here, they really yes. need to stop keeping out of the end zone. Yep. Foster will take the hand. The Dorn hand breaking out left. The right side. And finally brought down by Alex Viles out there. Yeah, they'll take a timeout. Yep. And that's going to be down to the four yard line. Yep. Only takes a timeout. And once again, we want to thank one of our sponsors. Back to Action Chiropractic. Called Dr. Katie Burmeister today to schedule an appointment with locations in Florida and Salem. Or even give Loretta Hutchins a call. You know, why not? She'll help you out. So she works there too. So, yeah. So we got to mention them. First time out of the game, I do believe. So it's been fast paced, a lot of action tonight. I'm, I'm going to have a voice by the end of the second half. Some people would encourage that. <laughs> so anyway, it has been action-packed. It's been a fun game to watch so far. Keith, if you're Flora getting ready to go in at half, possibly down, you know, at least 26 to 7, what kind of adjustments are you making when you go in at half? I think you're going to have to look at your offense and then find yeah. a, and defense both of them and find out a way to do it. Right. You know, Sammy, the one thing we talked about, it's homecoming, it's Shriner's game. Mm -hmm. Is there a lot of distractions or is the offense just this good? I don't want to say the offense is just as good. I, I think so. It's I, a well-oiled yeah. machine. Yeah, I think this is a team. If you're Flora, you're you know you do the best you can, but boy, they are lit up. So, so the Tigers come out of the timeout. And I do love this fast-paced right. action, Keith. I do. Two wide receivers right. Foster in the shotgun. He's got Dorn to his right. First and goal from the six. Snap. He looks left, and it's going to be a wide open touchdown. Number 14, Jace Greenwood, with a touchdown. And the clock is still running. There, they stopped it. 
Tigers with the touchdown. They go up 26 to seven. Over the Wolves with 11 points to go in the first half. Coach Brian Tack and the coaching staff, Sammy, have got some things to uh, figure out here at halftime. Right, well, and they took some chances early on with some squib kicks and onside kick that gave only. Once again, if it works, great, you know, but it didn't. It gave them some short fields to work with, and but now they just, you know, march the ball all the way down the field, ate the entire clock. There's only 11 seconds left in the half. And the MyMax <sighs> detailing extra oh, point off like the left crossbar. Unlike the Bears, the Chicago Bears just <laughs> went through. <laughs> So with 11.8 seconds to go in your first half, it's the only Tigers 27. The Florida Wolves 7 here at Nancy Field. And we want to thank you for joining us tonight on the Clark Corral Polaris Behind the Mic Show presentation of Florida Wolves football. Keith Gibson, Sam Irwin here for you play-by-play. We appreciate all of our sponsors. Of course, our sponsors for the ring, the Behind the Mic Show. Right. Uh, Florida Tesco, who's our first down sponsor tonight. We do appreciate them. Mm -hmm. And of course, Beast Trees, Sammy, and if you haven't listened to one of our podcasts yet, why do we like Beast Trees? Well, they do a great job. I mean, what a great bunch of guys. And like, for instance, you know, if, uh, you know, your hedges are getting a little bushy, you want to keep them trimmed down. And why do you want to do that, Keith? Well, if the, the hedges are getting long around your deck, right. you want to trim those bushes. Yes, you do. It makes your deck look bigger. It makes your deck look bigger, and that's important. That's right. So you got to keep that up. So yeah, great sponsors. They do a great job. And uh, Fort of Tuscola, you know, Oh, Call Dougie. Doug. Old yeah. Dougie. Gives till it hurts. 217-253-3353. Ask for Doug. He'll take care of you. Only right, kicking off. Here yeah, we go. Kick off here. 11.8 seconds to go. Got to run this back. Michael Bushkin will <laughs> Bush King got to make a play. And he's got to run, and he's got to run the right side. He's oh, got to oh, hold, oh. almost lost the football. Taken down by 21. Yeah, he about got it stripped. Levi so Sitzinger with a nice and, tackle. Uh, he'll bring it down to the and, and boy, Keith Gibson, they are fortunate that that didn't get stripped. 30, if only no, gets 31. the ball back. That ball was out there saving like a loaf of bread. Yes, it was. you got to tuck that right up by your chest, that's for sure. And so we got eight seconds to go. Uh, if you're the Wolves, Sammy, just take a knee and go to the locker room. Yeah, there's no reason to do anything right now. Just take you, a knee. Take a make a shot a no. No. They may just run the ball to the middle, but I could see them taking a knee pretty easily. Looks like they're just going to Yeah, they're in shock. They're going to. Hellman shot. But everybody, gun. they only is definitely back deep, prepared for a Hail Mary pass. But they're just going to run and it up the middle the with Johnson. Johnson. He comes around to the right. He's nice got some break. room. Across the 35 to the 40. Good down hard to the 40. run. And finally brought down, and that's going to end the first half down to the 42. So good positive ending the first half. And if you're a Florida Wolves fan, not the first half you wanted. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, if you go in at half, I think Floor's got some things on offense. If they take advantage of it, when they get outside, you know, they're making some good adjustments there. So when they get outside, they're taking advantage of that. They're getting some yardage. Uh, I do think they're going to have to open up a little bit, maybe throw the ball around a little bit. And, uh, but so you're defensively. Down, you're down 20. That's three scores. You're right. And, uh, and the defense has got to stand up and they got to make yes. some stops. The, the you know, defense we haven't hasn't forced a three and out yet or uh, haven't even forced a punt yet. No. Uh, so the defense is definitely going to have to take. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, take some take some advantages. We will have an extended halftime. Right. Uh, so uh, we'll be take a quick break here in just a second, and uh, then we'll be back. And because they're going to do, I think, uh, homecoming candidates and anything. So. Yep, I see him walking out on the track right now. We'll take a quick break, and we're right back here in just a moment. Ford of Tuscola has a large lot full of new and pre-owned vehicles. Check out their great financing, friendly staff, and professional service center to help you get the most from your next vehicle. Make the short drive to Tuscola and find a great deal on your next car or truck. Welcome back to Dancy Field, your Behind the Mic show, live coverage of Flora Wolves football. Keith Gibson, Sam Irwin, and we want to thank our presenting sponsor, Car Crop Polaris, who is presenting... The show this evening, we want to appreciate you joining us as the Flora Wolves trail 27-7 to here at halftime at Dancy Field. And Sam, it's been, uh, you know, we, we interviewed Coach Music Thursday night on the Behind the Mic show, and he said they were an air raid team, three-headed monster, right. and uh, he, he didn't lie. Well, Matt Sweet Chin Music, I mean, you know, he's a sexy boy. He's not your boy toy. I mean, he's he's wow. doing it all. Did you yeah. really just go there? He, he, I did, yeah. Uh, you know, that's Shawn Michaels reference for you wrestling fans out there. But, uh, but no, he, he's doing exactly what he said he was going to do. And uh, it is impressive to watch this offense work. I mean, once again, you know, they're signaling in the plays from the sideline. Kids look down at the wristbands. They're ready to go. And they are doing whatever they want to do. 
Well, the first drive of the game for the Tigers, the Tigers took the uh, opening kickoff, and three plays, 31 seconds later, were on the scoreboard with a uh, touchdown to Miller uh, from their quarterback, Foster, and quickly went up 6-0. The extra point made it 7-0. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Wolves, though, had a wonderful drive, almost yes, a seven-minute drive, a six-minute, 55-second yep. drive yep. to follow that to tie the game. Yeah. Great answer. On a pass to Jared Sons from Jace Helm yep. uh, in the left corner of the end zone, and the extra point was good by John McGee. We were tied at seven. It's now 27 to seven, Sammy, as the Tigers are going on a 20 nothing run. Right, and, and you know, you when that happens, you know, great answer. You thought, oh, we got a ball game. This is going to be a game here. Flora's not scared. They're going to they're going to come right back at him, and. Uh, you know, then we had some squib kicks and onside that was attempted, you know, and took some chances, which, you know, I don't blame. Sometimes you got to roll the dice. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, kind of backfired on the Wolves because it gave Alney a short field as we're sitting right here at the 50. Alney has started their drives pretty close to there all night long. Well, you're right. And, they haven't uh, been deep in their territory they, except one time. The and then they went ahead and just drove that 90 seven yards, you know, for a touchdown. Uh, so I don't blame Coach Tackett for taking chances. When you're going up against an offense like this, if you're trying to keep up, and, and once again, Coach Tackett did not want to get in a shootout with these guys, and you see why, as they put up 27 points in the first half. Now, offensively coming out, Flora, I think you got to take advantage of your athletic quarterback. You've got good running backs. Run some option. You know, get outside. Get your athletes outside. Hopefully your wide receivers can, you know, get you some good blocks and try to turn up some yards that way because they are hurting them in the middle. You know, they, it worked early on, but they obviously adjusted. They're keen on Johnson. So maybe use him as a fake, let the quarterback ride, get you a pitch man out there as well, and get out there. Let Helm throw. He's shown he can throw the ball and uh, see if you can do that. But once again, defenses, if you've talked, they're going to have to start playing some bump and run. They're going to have to start, you know, putting some pressure on the quarterback. And, you know, easier said than done, of course. Well, so. yeah, definitely, without a doubt. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's something that adjusts what a half time's for, though, is to make adjustments. Right. Yep, so. By the way, if you uh, are, are listening or have listened, we do appreciate you listening in tonight. Or if you're listening after the fact, of course, you can always hear the game. We'll put it up on uh, CheapSeatsBar.com. And uh, you can message us there and let us know what you think. But we do have hats, T-shirts. We sold some hats tonight, Sammy. We did, nice and they're beautiful. Done. Yeah. Well, great job, and thanks to Rick Slaughter yeah. up at Shirt Tales. Nice and, trucker uh, style hat. Yeah. Great breeze in the back. That's nice. Uh, but so, they're, yeah. they're available for $15 a piece. We've got mm -hmm. T-shirts available for $15 as well. And, uh, you know, give us contact. We'll make sure we get you one. There's always a delivery spot in Florida, Sammy. No matter what. You know who that is? Is that... It's downtown. That's that's down it's right. He's right there at Hux. He's right. right there at Hux. Get you some chicken. Drop off what you need. Get uh, some chicken. Now, get now, some potato wedges. Right. That now, now, now Keith good, gets, since we are at homecoming weekend, big crowd. Kids are going to have a big time tomorrow night and enjoy themselves. What is one of your favorite, As you, if you can think back that far now, uh, what was one of your favorite homecoming memories? Do you recall one? Oh, homecoming memories. Dance, of course. Dance, yes. Well, I mean, I didn't. You know, we always said that Gibson never scored, <laughs> so we never had to worry about that. Well, that's good. That's good, right? Uh, but uh, you know, uh, I, I always enjoyed the bonfire. You know, the homecoming parade. Right. Um, I'm pretty sure I ate 38 slices of Pizza Pit pizza during homecoming week one year. Good for you. For lunch. Yeah. That's something to be proud of. It is. Yeah. You know. You get a free shirt with that, or no? No. 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 Just the closed arteries. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, no. It, you know, homecoming's always fun. The bonfire's fun. You know. Right. And the games and everything. And right. That's you know, as we talked about on the show Thursday night with Coach Tack. Is those are the things that everybody remembers. Yes. Oh, absolutely. What, what about you? Uh, you know, some good, some bad. You know, had had one homecoming where. Uh, you know, going through the old homecoming parade and afterwards, you know. Did you did yeah. you take a convertible top off during homecoming? Well, I didn't take it off. It flew off. There's well, a difference. Okay. Thank you very much. And uh, how fast were you going at that time, Sammy? Well, that's not really important to the story. It uh, just blew bounds. You could pick up a high rate of speed. Let's just put it that way. So, uh, uh, yeah, that was an interesting night or day uh, that turned into one heck of a week. So, uh, you know, it, it happens, but, uh, but that's all right. So, but no, homecoming, I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun. A lot, like you said, a lot of good memories. The bonfire, the, you know, all the kids are excited. Uh, and, you know, hopefully these kids really enjoy themselves because the time goes by quickly, as we know. So you've only got a short amount of time to do it, so take Zima, advantage of it. Zima, can I get you to go downstairs and grab our banner? I already got it. Or do you fall again? Oh, did you already grab it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I already oh. got it. Our banner fell, Zima. John yep. Zimmerman, nice job. Went and grabbed the force. We appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice to have an assistant. So, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, what, what's some other memories you have at homecoming? 
Uh, well, our junior year, we, I know we did win, played well, so that was a, a fun game. It's always not, it's always a lot more fun going to the dance when you get a win, that's for sure. That's so, true. You know, so that was nice. Uh, and I think my senior year, I think we won as well. So that was, that was a good time. I couldn't uh, say if we won or lost. Well, I, there's no way I can tell you the score or anything like that due to several concussions that, you know, you, we didn't have concussion protocol back then. It was a couple fingers in front of your face. You good? Yep. All right. Yeah, do you remember the second half? Nope. <laughs> so just the way it went. 27-7, our score here at halftime. We got about 12 minutes to go at half. They were introducing the uh, the court, the homecoming court on the other side. We're in the visitor's booth. Sammy, a lot of done to this facility. We talked about it earlier tonight, uh, but new, new bleachers and, and score booth over here on the visitor's side, all weather track, yes. feels in great shape. Uh, booth and new bleachers on the home side. Booster clubs got their own shelter to do pork burgers and things. Uh, just it, a new field house going up. Uh, just a whole new. It is a facility. facility. Yes, it is. It's it's wonderful what they've done, and uh, and it's nice to see the football program what they're building. You know, especially following a couple one and eight seasons. You know, and they had a lot of youth, but obviously they're getting better. Uh, the JV's doing well. So Florida's. Things are going in the right direction. You can feel it in town too. Yes, you Just can. Just driving in today, you can. Mm -hmm. You know, the windows were painted, but yeah. you can almost feel it. Yeah. I mean, you can. I yeah. mean, everybody is. listening knows that when things are going well, you feel better. Yes, you do. You know, when you when you look good, yeah. you play good. That's but right. apparently, there's three different uniform sets. I mean, you can look good every night. It's like we're in Oregon here. I mean, all the different combinations. I tell and, you uh, what. I, you remember we had we had two jerseys. Home. Yep. Home and away. away. That's right. How many pairs of pants do you have? Uh, uh, one, one, one. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's all you needed, you know. But uh, but no, it's it's awesome. It's awesome for the kids. Uh, I'm happy for Coach Tackett and his staff. Uh, they they do have they have a lot of support. It's a big turnout tonight, which is awesome. Uh, so it's it's great for the town. It's great for the school. And uh, you know, and then you see you know Smitty's out here still taking pictures. I mean, he's been doing it forever, and he does a great job for legend. the community. A legend, in fact, still out here. Uh, so it's it's definitely a community feel, and once again, like you said, man, it just feels different driving into Florida than it has in a while. And it and it's you know in a small town, sports mean a lot. It, so, it does, yes. And big deal. We have about ten minutes to go here in the in the halftime. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break, play a little bit of music for you. So we will uh, rewrite. What song back. Are you gonna choose? Well, just a little instrumental form. So we will be oh. right back. We're gonna let our voices take a quick break. But you sing Humpty Dance? Or no, something. we're not singing it. Now. Okay, that's later. <laughs> we're gonna get some libation. <laughs> But uh, we'll be right back here. 27-7 uh, only leads floor at halftime. You're listening to Behind the Mic Show from Dancy Field. Thanks to Car Corral Polaris. One tree or a dozen, large estate or small corner lot, whatever you call home. When you have trees, they need professional care. That means calling Beast Trees. Greg Miller, owner and operator of Beast Trees, is an ISA certified arborist. Beast Trees offers tree removal, trimming, and free estimates. They're fully licensed and fully insured. Call Bees Trees today to find out how they can keep your trees healthy and thriving. Call 217-260-4551 to schedule an appointment with Bees Trees. And we are here live. Laner, thanks for uh, jotting over. We do appreciate that. And Laner's a follower, and Laner's followed us to our new stream. You can Big always count on man, Lane Pie. Cobb County, yep. Cobb County, Georgia. Oh, Lane Pie. A little quieter here, Sammy, at halftime with all the fan, only fans going on the... And the cowbells, cowbells. And taking a break. Yeah, it reminds I me mean, of Nancy Stringer yeah. from back in the day. I yep. usually like more cowbell. I, I always like more cowbell, but not whenever I'm trying to do this. Right. <laughs> right. So, yep. the Lane family is consistent, they say, and we appreciate that. And oh, they are consistent. Marianne, yeah. Laner, Trent. Yeah. Hopefully, Alex. life's life's going well in Georgia for them. We do miss them. We do. Yes. You would think at some point they would come home, but uh, you would think so. Of course. Sometimes if you can get out of the state of Illinois, sometimes no, that's a good we don't thing. Come home no, we do not. <laughs> Five forty five to go here in the at halftime. It's twenty seven to seven. The only Tigers lead to Floor Wolves. Rob West came into the booth with us. Happy birthday to Rob West, the bird man. Yeah, big birthday to Carlos lost today, Rob. Yeah, I know. One one. And don't forget Alex Lane. He played football here and then I, I, I said away. Alex. Did you say Alex? Okay. I can't good. forget Alex. All right. So the Cardinals Laner lost says three in two huh? weeks. Oh, hey, all right, exciting. What's well, final score, Bird? Three nothing. Three nothing. That's a shame. It was a nail biter last night, wasn't it? Oh my goodness. Woo! I'm too old to beat like that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of takes the joy out of it. You know what? 
Cubs aren't playing. That's true. <laughs> Cardinals are in, Cubs are not. Keith Gibson, your thoughts? Rob West, when's the last time the Cardinals were in the playoffs? Uh, 2015. Okay, thank you. You know, what amazes me about Keith Gibson and his audacity right now is they win one World Series in over 100 years. And no, talk you, smack if like you, if like you read the story, I, Sam. <laughs> but you know what? If you read the story I put on CheapSeatsBar.com, mm -hmm. I'm actually glad we're not in the playoffs this year because I think some of the bandwagon will fall off. Oh, and I actually agree. Get to I agree. Do yes. people enjoying it? Yes. But you know what? Between 19, between 1908 when the Cubs won the World Series and 2016 when the Cubs won the World Series, you know how many times the Cardinals won the World 11. Series? Eleven times. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Hey, I'm not just a Cub fan. I'm a baseball fan. That's right. I give the Cardinals props. <laughs> Unlike your sister and your dad. Yeah. <laughs> who, uh... Yeah. Boz ba will never talk about the Cardinals. Julian's, I tell you what, I could use a good old Cinco oh, burger right about now. Oh, man. Well, we were supposed to hopefully get some McBurgers, you know, tonight. Yeah. And, you know, we do want to mention, you know, Zima's been up here on our... John Zerman. Yeah. From... The Great City, hey, Clay City. Yeah, you don't have your mic. I'm talking into you. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's no big deal. But, yeah, uh, we got uh, John Zeme here from Clay City, representing Clay City. So, Clay County's well rounded hey, by tonight. Hey, did you know the old shoe factory's gone? <laughs> you know, I saw that. The old shoe factory got taken down. By, you know what? And the shame of it is, that's where everybody used to go and fight. Remember that bird? Uh, Meet at the old shoe factory. Yeah, that's right. Well, hold on. When we were in high school, mm -hmm. Tom Welch set up a batting cage in there. We used to go up to the to the third story and, and hit balls. Really? Yeah. Wow. All it was when we were in high school was just for fights. Yeah. That, uh, that used, they, uh, my family owned that. Mm. My, uh, my aunt Mary owned that. She lived there. Oh, she lived there for years. She did until she died. And mm. then my cousin Danny was a kid. A kid at oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Owned that. Well, it's a shame to see it go. It is. But I guess it was its time. You know time. what I got waiting on me at home when I get there? What's that? From my, I'm back to mom and dad's. Yeah. DiMaggio's Pizza. <gasps> oh, man. Nothing better than that. Did you go with the deep dish? Did I did not, know. Oh. Man. Either I, way, though, so good. But, so but I don't have one. I have two. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm going to take one home tomorrow. That's smart. He could probably eat both of them by himself. You're probably, probably right. <laughs> but you know what? He's a giver. He'll take one to the wife, I'm right. sure. No. So she, doesn't, she can't eat it. So what? I, oh, well. Hmm, thinking ahead. But hey, sure. thanks for joining us here on the Behind the Mic Show presentation of Floral Wolves football. We are at halftime, 220 to go here in the half, 27 to 7. Your only tiger, your only the only tigers lead the Floral Wolves. And Sammy, let's talk about a little bit what the Wolves gotta do here before we get the, the second half started. Well, well what, what, what do they really, really need to do is get some offense. They really need to score, yes. They uh, they really need to get some offense going. They uh, And obviously, as we talked, got to get some stops on defense, got to force a punt, got to create a turnover. You know, and, and I think that's what killed Flora. When they got that interception at the 50, ran it back to Daniel the 30, Day Daniel Day-Lewis came up big, as he always does, whether it's in the film or on the field, uh, came up big. And unfortunately, they didn't cash in. And I think that took a lot out of Flora's sales and then only went right back down and scored, and it's a totally different ball game. So, Well, the Wolves are in a predicament where they haven't been all year long. Mm -hmm. They're down three scores, 27 to seven. Right. Uh, they've been down two. They right. They were down two. Uh, Marshall came back and, and were able to win that game. Is three going to be too much for them unless they get some things changed? Well, uh, unfortunately, from what I've seen on offense from Flora, unless it's uh, they made some major adjustments, I, I just don't see it happening. I mean, they... They're going to have to completely, you know, go in opposite direction right now, and they're going to have to, like I said, they're going to have to force, they're going to have to put some kind of pressure on that quarterback, uh, and hopefully that will make some changes. So, oh, and we got a food got delivery food here. Delivery. I tell Fantastic. you what, nothing but the best. Yep. Thank hey, you, ladies. Hey, that's that's one pork burger, not three like you said the other night. <laughs> Proud of you. Keith's dieting, so he's down to one one perk burger an hour. Randy Ellis jersey. Are you out of your mind? But Randy Ellis jersey, because she's wearing the Sam Irwin jersey. This should be retired. I'm still not sure why that hasn't happened. I got, oh, it's, so that is, that's, that's a, that's a it Randy is. Ellis Jim Locum jersey. Oh, it's ridiculous. They're disrespecting this booth right now. <laughs> ridiculous right now. So thank you. Thank you. No big deal. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, nice food delivery. How about it? So, huh? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Don't pay attention to the Keith Gibson moans and shoes. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> the Ron Burgundy part of the podcast now. <laughs> oh. My glass case of emotion. <laughs> Tell you what, we're gonna give you a little music here. We we chow down. 
We'll be right back here in just a second. There's about a minute and a half to go before the start of the second half. You're listening to Behind the Mic Show from Jeep Seats. Well, no, you're listening to Behind the Mic Show, presentation Floor Wolves Football. Now that's why we're live from <laughs> Dancing Field. All right, we are back here from Dancy Field. Keith Gibson, Sam Irwin, your Behind the Mic Show host as we bring you a live broadcast of Florida Wolves football. The Wolves will receive the second half kickoff, trailing 27 to seven. Once again, thank you to, to Loretta Hutchins, to your mother for bringing up yes, birds, very nice. chips, the water, I and the booster say, club. The, the food they brought was nice, uh, once again, from Back to Action Chiropractic. So call Dady, Dr. Katie Burmeister today to schedule an appointment with locations in Flora and Salem. Bird, didn't you, uh, weren't you a classmate of Katie Burmeister? I was. That's right, yeah. So Rob she's West doing well. Stay for the second half and join us here. I was also the only Tigers get ready to kick Mr. off. Michael Bushkin deep in the backfield. That's so true. the kick is deep. That's right. But it's going to be... Drew oh. who takes it at the 14. He comes to the middle across the Oh, 20. great return. He's gone. gone. He's, He's gone. gone. Yep. He's got one man to one beat. Man to beat. Oh, 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 to the oh, great return. The Tiger 28. Jared Sons again. He's played big tonight. Big oh, return. Sons. I thought it was Howell with Sons who brought it down. Huge return and a great start to the second Great start. Sammy. Boy, you talk about needing a shot, and they got it right there. So if they can score here, might make it a ball game. But you got to take advantage. Great return, great blocking. Ran it right up the seam. Fantastic. First and ten for the Wolves from the only Tiger 28. Elman Shogun. Let's see if they change it up here, Sammy. Start the second half. I hope so. And it's going to be a hand. There we go. Getting outside. outside. Getting Gets outside. outside. Picks up a nice yardage there. I will take three or four yards. There you to go. 25. You know, Sam, three, four yard gains get you what? Get you first down. A four to touch goal. That gets you down. a four to touch goal first down, right? So hopefully they can keep this up. And once again, I don't think we've seen it in a while. Run that read option again. You know, kind of put them to sleep and then get Helm outside again to kids and athletes. So hopefully they can do that. Three yard gain for Johnson, second and seven from the only Tiger 25, Helm in the shotgun. Johnson back to his left. And now and there it is. keep it and go to his left. Ah, uh, missed block. Man, you get that block, and he's got a good seven, eight yards on that. Not, no gain there on the quarterback keeper by Helm. So keep it third and seven. Called that twice now. I'll call that the Tony Romo effect for you, Bird. Call them plays before they happen. <laughs> <laughs> Big third down here for the Wolves, Sammy. Third and seven. They really need to come out firing here and get a score early. Got a score here. Have to score, no doubt. So what we do here, we got Wiles out to the right. Bush King out to the left. Elma in the shotgun. Plenty of cushion, could throw a slant right now. And they, and they run the it again. King, and Bush King's gonna go nowhere, get tackled in the backfield. I did not care for that play call. That's gonna be fourth down for the Wolves. Are you in four down territory, Sam? Well, I think it all night long, no matter where you're at at this point, you've gotta go for it. Man, man, man. Well, this is huge right here. So fourth and nine for the Wolves from the only Tiger 27 after a great going three to the right, three wide Jerry right. Sons, not, not anywhere. Three wide to the right, one left. Helm rolls around to the right. Nobody to throw Nobody to. He's got nowhere to go. Fumble. fumble. And, and Four got on back it. on it. Just about had an SWI, SIWI turnover. Did not. Four recovers, but. Basically turnover anyway because it was fourth down, so only gets the ball. That'll be only Tiger football because of fourth down and a 
Turnover on downs by the Wolves. The Tigers do recover at the 39. Loss of 12. Well, and once again, not taking advantage of a situation. You get a huge return right there, and they stall offensively again. So there's two scores they could have had. Totally different ball game. So hopefully the defense can get a stop right here, but we'll see what happens. So the Tigers have first and 10 from their own 39. Leading 27 to seven, 9.43 to go, third quarter. And it's a handoff to number 13. That's Braden Bergner. Bergner's got some speed. Yeah, Bergner right. break three. Finally brought down at the Wolves 35. Touchdown saving tackle by Bush King. That's, yep, yeah, and that's once again, that's that momentum swing when you don't take advantage of the situation and only comes right back at you with another huge gain. First and 10 from the Wolves, 35 now. And Foster will well, keep it up the middle. Quarterback, he oh, great job. job. Brought down, that was number, number 54. 54. Landon Back. Landon Back has done a nice job and finally read that one right. Yes, he did. He's done yes, that he did. a couple times. Yes, tonight. he has. He's played well. Yeah, he has played exceptionally well on that. So three wide right, or two and two, excuse me. Dropping back. No pressure. Foster no pressure all day. again. Got all day. Oh, oh chance at a pick. That was number twenty. Daniel Day Lewis could have had another huge play in and out of his hands. Floor needed that. Third and nine. Once again, Sam, no pressure. Nope. Yeah, they're having a hard time getting to the quarterback. And what? And as I said earlier, he's a big, tall kid, strong kid. He can just sit back there and he can see over the entire defense, and he's just picking his spots. That was a dangerous throw. He kind of got away with one right there. Three wide right, one wide left. Foster drops back. He's got some pressure here now. Throws it deep to the right side. And over through. And Bush King there, and it's out of bounds. Incomplete, and the Wolves. Uh, they have held him to a fourth down. Held big. Fourth down. Let's see what the Tigers do. If you're Coach Matt Music, I think you know you're going for it. Here, I right? think you go for it. Yeah, why not? Yep, looks like they are. Dorn trots on the field. Well, he's had a heck of a game, too. A really good shifty. back. Very shifty. Great at cutbacks. Once That's he gets outside. F. What's that? Shifty with an F. Right, shift. Shifty. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> PG show here. PG show here, Keith Gibson. That's right. <clears throat> Foster drops Fourth back. They're looking for the screen. Quick screen. Be a hole. Oh, 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 and we got a flag. Probably a block in the back of the hole, but nice job, Great by, job by the defense. They can deny that. Yep. That's, play, that flag will be all on uh, They'll deny. Was complete and then brought down at the 40, or excuse me, the 36 yard line. As Sam said, flag on the play. We got a hold, it looks like, on Alney. Yep, hold on Alney. That'll be declined. And the floor decline. Wolves defense floor comes wolves out, held. start second half They did the exactly stop. what they need to do. You know, and then once again, it's a shame that they didn't take advantage of that kickoff return because you score there, you hold here, you score again, you're right That's back the in the ball game. Ball. Yep. So, so the hopefully. offense for the Wolves will take over, first and 10, from the 37-yard line, their own 37. 8.44 to go here in the third quarter. I'd still like to see Helm get on the outside with some option runs. So hopefully they're going to open up. And, well, we're going spread here, so we're opening up maybe a little bit here. Get some people out of the box. Shotgun spread. Helm there. Johnson is right. Two on each side of them. And here's a snap, and it's a, it's a screen pass out Beautiful. to Michael Bush. There you go. Get it to your playmaker. Bush King tries to go around. Nowhere to go and wraps up quickly. Right. Good pickup. Six yards. Game, game about four on the play. Four, six. I mean, you know, I know you weren't good at math. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Looked like six at the time. I think that's a terrible spot. That's what I think. That's what uh, yeah. <laughs> But no, it's good. Get it out to your playmakers. You know, we haven't seen that in a while, so get it out into Bush King's well, hand. Like he can make a lot of head things happen. Here is that double move again here? Yes. Yep, very effective earlier. Second and six here for the Wolves from their own 41. Eight minutes to go in the third quarter. They trail 27 to seven. Helm in the shotgun. Spread offense. Looks back to Ashton. Yep. They're opening it up a little bit. There we go. Get the ball outside. Nice ball. First down, Wolf. I can't tell who that was completed to. That looks like it was number 10. That's John, John McGee. McGee, the freshman. Yep. John and me and Bobby McGee. Very nice. And that's a Ford of Tuscola, Sam. First down. Oh, that's right. So, And you know what? Flora has moved the ball a little bit here. Maybe they can get something going. But I think they got to be a little quicker. 
Kind of play with a little sense of urgency here. First and 10 from the 47. All in these corners are sagging back again, giving them plenty of cushion, at least 10 yards off. Cone. Now looks and a handoff and to Johnson, and he'll go nowhere. Yep. Back to the line of scrimmage to bring a second and 10. Keeping them honest. Still got to run, still got to try to run the ball a little bit, but there is going to come a certain point in time in the game where you cannot do that anymore. You're just going to have to put it in the air. We've got a official clock stoppage, so timeout. Once again, another back to action chiropractic timeout. Oh, and now we're back. That's a quick one. Helm, spread offense again to each side. Drops back. He's looking to pass. Rolling out. He's looking for Bush oh, he's going deep. He's got him. He's got Bush Oh, he's got, got him. It. Beautiful got touchdown. It. Hey, when you open it up, touchdown. 53-yard touchdown pass. That was a beautiful ball. Jace Helm, and he even rolled out of the pocket a little bit to give himself some time. Line did a good job, but he was on the move, set up, made a beautiful throw down the field. Bush King had a step, hit him right in stride. And you know what? We got a ball game again. You hold here. The defense can hold. 7 to go here in the third quarter. Michael L. Bush King, the 53-yard touchdown reception. I haven't seen a ball fly through the air like that since old Sling and Sam. Ooh, that's yeah. right, brother. Yeah. <laughs> That's a country financial Lee Sandbacher yep. touchdown. Mm -hmm. And the extra point by John McGee is good. Yep. And the Flora Wolves did exactly what we said they needed to do, Sammy. Get a defensive stop yep. and score. Now we got the fireworks. And the fireworks sounds like the 4th of July crowd's excited. They're back into it. Yep. Fireworks, by the way. All Once again, it. Doug Spitzner's doing those as well tonight. So yep. Doug yep. does a great job. Just yes, what a guy. Is. What a guy. Please your car. Yeah, he's going to help my mom out with her headlights. You know, she's got some she's got some foggy headlights. He's going to take care of that. Sir. What's that? That's age. No, it's not her, not her eyes, her, her headlights oh, on the oh. car. Yeah. So, uh, so he's going to do a little something on that and take care of her. But any car cares you need to clean your car up. I've seen the pictures on Facebook. It does a fantastic job. So get it cleaned up for the nice fall time of the year. It is. 27-14, yeah. the only Tigers lead. 6.57 to go here in the third quarter. Uh, and I tell you what, Keith. 53 yard touchdown. Right, and it's, and it's impressive to see, once again, Flora could have just quit and come out at halftime flat. They did not. Huge kickoff return. Didn't get to take advantage of that, but the defense stepped up. They could have been down, stepped up, got a stop on fourth down, and then come back with a beautiful ball. Now you need another stop. And now you need another stop, once again. Get a stop here. Team's fired up. The momentum has shifted. Only kind of struggling a little bit on offense, so we'll see if they can keep it up. But I love how they opened it up. They were throwing the ball out the flats, and then getting the ball deep. out, and then go deep. Suck them in a little bit as you're throwing out the flats, then he'll go deep. Easy. You needed to do that more in the first half. Yes, and yes. Squib and kick. we're squib kicking again. And a squib kick down to the 34. And it's yeah, that's not terrible. Block. Yeah, that's not that's terrible. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. You just don't want to give it to him at the 50, that's for sure. But So the only Tigers will take over first and 10 at their own 35-yard line, it looks like. That's where they'll mark it. Leading 27-14, 6.54 to go here in the third quarter. Once again, thanks to our wonderful sponsors, Car Crowd Polaris. Visit Car Crowd Polaris in Florida Fair, Bill Carmine for all your off-road and ATV needs. Or visit carcrowdpolaris.com. All right, here we go. Tigers going four wide spread as well. Foster in shotgun. Hand off to Dorn. Hand off to Dorn and around the side. Nice no stop. Go. That's a Gibson. great stop. Gibson with hey, the tackle. Gibson with the tackle. Yep. I tell you what, wrapped him up quicker than a donut. Last time I seen Gibson tackle like that's when you put an elbow drop on Moon Pie one time. So that's fantastic at the old Bosco Palace. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't worked in my Moon Pie sister. <laughs> but so one defense has stepped there. it up a little bit here. Only in a spread again. Second and nine, Foster now looks. He's gonna look deep. Oh, he overthrew him. Overthrew him. Oh, Sam, that was, oh, that that was, was Miller, and Miller was open, open. there. Open, well, and Flora continues to stay back and give them plenty of cushion. It's I, there I for them. I think part of it is they don't, they, 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 only's got a lot of speed. They, they do, they, they, I think up. they're scared of that. They don't want to get beat deep, totally get that. But Third and nine now see. for the Tigers. 6.21 to go here in the third quarter. They lead 27-14. And Keith, like I said earlier in the game, you let Flora hang around, let them build a little confidence, some things can happen. And it's looking at the offense. windows. Get a Foster harder. takes the snap out of the shotgun, looks deep. Oh, he's looking, he double he's looking, clutched. And it's going to be uh, uh, Oh, a great defensive. A nice what a pass there. breakup. Great job by number 13. That's Jacob Hawkins. 
5'8", 140 yard, 40 pound sophomore. Sophomore getting the action. That was a beautiful play. Same that's two straight stops in a row. Big. And I think that's Big. not what Coach Matt Music, if you're the only Tigers, wanted. No, to not at all. Not at all. Great adjustments at halftime by the, 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 the defensive genius that Brian Tackett is. It, we, well, we're seeing it. We're seeing it this half yeah. for sure. And you know what? That's what we talked about at halftime. The adjustments. What adjustments were made? Looks like Florida made some adjustments. Only struggling a little bit. So can only come back and make some adjustments. Fourth and nine, six fifteen to go. Only in punt formation from their own thirty-six yard. Oh, over his head! Snap. Snapped it over his head. And he's going to pick it. And he's going to throw it. And oh, complete. huge break for Flora. So the Wolves instead of having to field a punt. Now we'll get the ball at the 36 yard line of the Tigers. Yep, and I tell you what though. But that was a smart play. Smart play by, yes, yeah, smart play by Miller, their great wide receiver, defensive back. Had the heady, heady enough play to pick it up and just try to make a play. It saved him a ton of yards because Florida would have had it inside the 10. So brilliant play by him. So the Wolves will take over first and 10 from the Tiger 36. Trailing 27-14 with 6.08 to go here in the third quarter. Can Flora take advantage? More exciting than we maybe thought, Sam. Yeah, well, keep that going on offense. Keep it open. Let Helm do his thing. Keep it going. Two left, one right. Hand off to Johnson and on the left we side. Run and it right up the middle. In fact, he may have lost a couple. Uh, We want to thank our listeners for listening today. We haven't had a whole lot of listeners, Sammy, but we do appreciate those who've been here. Right. Well, you know, we'll put it on the on the website. People can listen to it later. A lot of our listeners are here tonight. Right. So, you know, they're not going to be listening, but they can listen to it tomorrow. But either way, it's been a lot of fun. It has been. So, yeah. Helm now spread offense. Two wide receivers left, two right. Shotgun formation. Tailback moves to the left side. That looks like Gibson. Hayden Gibson. Mm -hmm. Helm takes a snap. Rolling left. Rolling left. Got a guy Close. wide open. Oh. Complete. That was intended for number 12. I don't have a 12, Keith Gibson. Do you? Maybe I, well, you know, I'm getting old. Well, there's Maybe that. That's 10. Please. <laughs> Might have been John McGee. Yeah. We'll give it to John McGee. He lunged for it, but the ball was a little bit off. So now third and 11 for the Wolves from their own, from the Tigers 38. But it's there. As we sit up here and watch, there are... The ball, you know, there's opportunities out there. They just need to keep going to that. The opportunities are there. They're giving them chances. Wiles and Bush King to your right. Two receivers to your left. Helm takes a snap from a shotgun. He's got some pressure. Rolls right. Looks. Oh. Incomplete. He was looking for Bush King. Under pressure there. Fourth down. Mm -hmm. Fourth and 11. Big down here for the Wolves. And really need to take advantage of this situation. What do you do here, Sammy? You're going to punt? You're going to go for it. Never. Never you don't punt. punt. <laughs> you didn't punt in college, playing college football. Hey, you know you what? In NFL. When, when you're down by 13, you struggled all night, and you're on your opponent's 30, you know, 36 30, or 38 yard line. Yeah, that's a no brainer. Go for Wolves it. Wolves are going to go for it, two right, two and left. And if nothing else, throw it up. If it gets picked off down by the five, Johnson it's a great punt field. anyway. Helm in shotgun. Defense. Defense. Takes a snap. He looks. Got some pressure. Great Across throw, great throw. And that's going to be close to first down, and it will be yep. down to the 20-yard line. 20-yard line, yeah, 21. Nice four to Tesco, a touchdown. The, yeah. And I tell you what, Helms showed me something there. He rolled left through back across his body, hit a kid cutting across the middle. Beautiful ball, huge, Florida fourth and 11. First down, first and 10 for the Wolves from the Tigers, 22, 508 to go. And a false start by Flora. And that's going to be a false start on the center. Left tack. Left tack. I want to see more of this. Open this up Yes, a bit. this is what should have been going on in the first half when you're getting down. Because obviously Helm is an athlete. The kid can run. He can throw. He's impressed me, especially for a sophomore. Future's bright for that kid. And really tonight we're going to see what he's got because basically the game's going to be in his hands. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. And so far, so good. I think, once again, as they're sending pressure up the middle, with as mobile as he is, keep him rolling left, rolling right, move the pocket a little bit, and let him create. If nobody's open downfield, tuck it and go. Under five to go. First and 15 of the Wolves in motion. He hands Got off. Sweep. That's going to be a quick tackle there. That was John McGee. Around the right side on the handoff, but able to get nowhere. He was brought down by only Tiger Caleb Foster, the quarterback. 
who we mentioned on Thursday night, plays great defense yes, in the safety position. Yeah. He, you talk about an athlete. Well, that kid is an athlete. Yes. Second and 14 here for the Wolves. 420 to play in the third quarter. They trail 27-14. And you Green, wonder wide left, Sammy. Well, wide and you wonder right. at some point does does Coach Tackett have any uh, you know some bag of tricks? We're going to see some trick plays, some reverses. Now um, shotgun, drop speed. He's got a man over the got middle. Got a man over the middle again. That's complete. Yep. They man, they've got plenty of windows to throw to. And that's another great number pass. Number twenty-two, Daniel, Daniel Day Lewis. Lewis again. Daniel Day, <laughs> Academy Award winner, great wide receiver, plays great defense. Had a pick tonight. Does it all. Probably wash your car if you brought it over to the house too. He does it all. So great kid. Yes. Very nice. Three forty to go here in the third quarter. Third and four for the Wolves from the Holly Tiger sixteen yard line. Fifteen on the play clock, Sammy. Which you know what I'd like to see all night. But the Wolves are just now getting the line. Right. Wait, well, Keith. What I'd like to see too. Maybe run some screens. Almond's being very aggressive up the middle with the blitzes. Look for some screens. Let's see how many shot guy. He'll hand it off to Johnson. And he'll get across the... Got a first down. 11, and he's going to be close. That's a Wolves first down. Yep. And that's where you run. That's where that passing opens up the exactly. run. Exactly. Exactly. Instead of running every down, they're opening it up. Now the defense has got to guess. So, yes. So, first and 10 for the Wolves. That's my issue. From the 11. Run plays. <laughs> Constantly run, 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 run. <laughs> Robbie Bird West was so <laughs> And I agree. Early on, too many 11. run plays. Hellman shotgun. Three wide receivers are left. One right. Up to Johnson, up the middle. I think it was Gibson once again. <laughs> well, you know. But, once again, let's not get back to our old ways. I picked Keep up it a few here. He picked up about three. About two, yeah. So we're looking at sec yeah, second seven. Now I look. Here's where I look. Screen. Yeah. Or like, excuse me. Slant. I'm looking slants. At slant. Slants. That, well, That's and let's open. let's see where our corner where the cornerbacks we'll are right here. here. It's ball. Oh, it's oh, it's yeah. Anything can happen. So second and seven, two thirty to go here in the third quarter. Wolves trail twenty-seven. Absolutely. Wilds out here right now could run a slant easily and score. Double now, slants four and five. Looking for it, and it's overthrown. Wilds was wide open on the slant, just like we said. Quarterback didn't see him through to Bush King here on the out, but that slant is there. for the Wolves. The slant is there all night yeah. long. In fact, I'd run a double slant out there. Make sure to take that inside guy with you. Do you run a double slant or maybe a slant and then back out? A double move there so you take the outside guy and do that. So if you get flushed, you've got a guy out there on the outside. Just give him some options. Yeah. yeah. But this is big, third and seven. Third and Wolves seven, got two, two chances seven. to score, though. 2.17 to go here in the third quarter. Wolves trail 27-14. They're on the Tigers' eight-yard line and threatening. This is a big red zone possession for the Wolves. Johnson in the backfield. Hellman shotgun, and he'll hand off to Johnson. Johnson, Johnson gets out, the left. and, and a flag. flag. That will be on Flora, more than likely. Thrown in the backfield, and we're going to have a, a, a hold on the Wolves. And that Ooh, is that's a, a killer. Big killer. Yep. Killer. And it's tough out there, because you're trying to hook that defensive end. Get him outside to grab a jersey before you know it. Here come the flags. I'm not sure, uh, Sam, to be honest with you, on the play call there. Third and seven, the slant's been open. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So now it's oh, they declined it. it. Ooh, fourth and seven. Interesting call. Wow. Would you have declined that? I would not have. I'd have pushed him back and made him get. Uh, yeah. That's interesting. Let's see if it backfires so on him or not. fourth and seven for the Wolves. 2-12 to go in the third quarter from the 10-yard line of the only Tigers. Interesting call right That's, there by Coach Matt Music. Yeah, yeah. And four and takes a timeout. timeout. So once again, we got a nice back to action chiropractic timeout called Dr. Katie Burmeister Day to schedule an appointment with locations in Flora and Salem. Interesting call there, I, Keith, as we go here into the timeout. Well, I, I'm actually very surprised at that call, Sam. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, had third and 17. Third and 17. From the 20. Right. Um, no, excuse me, yeah. yeah. Well, now they're the saying 18th. fourth and ten. From the ten, yes. Wasn't it fourth and seven? Yeah, they lost three. They lost two yards. Hmm, interesting. It was third and seven, lost three, so it's fourth and ten. Yeah, but there was a, wasn't there a holding call? They declined it. I guess you're right. My apologies. Yeah, so it is fourth and ten. Yeah, so sorry, got lost there. But yeah, fourth and ten. So good still night, Irene. Yeah. <laughs> sorry about that. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> uh, but yes, uh, so a four for ten, big time out here. If you're Coach Tackett, I think you got to look slant here. It's been there all night. So you got to tell the guys. Yeah. Catch, don't throw it till you get in the end zone. Right. Get in the end zone. Yep. Well, and once again, I mean, you know, the guys in the booth are seeing this. I'm sure they've got to see these corners are playing off. They're sagging off. Here we go. You know, Wiles has been go, open. But let's see where 10. the corners are playing right you now because you're down here. Wiles out far right. Michael yep. Bush King in the slot. Well, now your corners are up tight now. Yep, so now looking for. maybe you're looking for a fade. Fake the slant. Get out to the fade. Johnson in motion. Let's McGee in motion. Looking to pass. He's got pressure. Yeah, pressure. We're going left, and it's incomplete. Uh, so, turns out that was a great call by Matt Sweet Chin Music to make him go for it on fourth. And once again, a missed opportunity for Flora. That's three tonight, missed opportunities. So, the Wolves' incomplete pass gives the only Tigers first and 10 at their own 10 with 2.07 to play here in the third quarter. And it seemed there's a lot of pressure there as well. Yeah. They, they brought the corner yeah. blitz there from the inside slot, the nickel mm -hmm. uh, back, and, and uh, just Chase didn't have a chance. Not at all. No, no. A lot of pressure on him. Obviously, they knew they had to throw. So let's see what the Tigers do first and 10 for their own 10 here, 207 to play. Leading by two scores. And a handoff to Dorn, but goes nowhere. Four defense still playing well. Sam Duquesne, it looks like, and uh, 54 landing back there again. Yep. That landing back has impressed me tonight. So has Duquesne. They both played extremely well tonight. 27 14, only leads Flora. Minute 40 to play. Only spread offense, two receivers each side. Foster in the shotgun, takes the snap. He looks right to the screen pass. He's got his receiver, that's complete. Nice tackle out there. That's down to about the 17. Not quite enough for a first down yet. I believe that was Jacob Hawkins again on the tackle. Third nice and jump. three. But that's, man, they're giving up, you know. How could a lot you see on that. that. that was a great job of Eyes like a hawk. I had to make up for that fourth and ten. So <laughs> third and two here for the Tigers with a minute to play in the third quarter on their own 18. Plus Hawkins has got these big white gloves. Shines in the night. Dorn with a carry. Oh, did he get yeah, it? That's gonna be really close. Let's see the pinch where they mark it. I think they're gonna give it I to him. I think they got it, yep. <laughs> yep, and a big first, that's a first down, down for, for the only. Tigers. At their own 21, some nice run by Dorn there just around the five hole on the left side of the line. So we're under a minute to play here in the third quarter. Only leads 27-14 over the Wolves. First and 10 from the 21. Hand off to Dorn over to the right side. A nice wrap up there. And that looks like maybe back there again. Dang kids all over the field. Landing it's, back there again for the tackle, but a pickup of about four, mm -hmm. and the Tigers come to the line quickly. Yep. Under 30 seconds playing the third quarter. Only just take their time. Two and two on each side They're of the They're not going to. They're going. Hand, oh, hands off the door. Door up the middle. Nice run up He's the middle. He's got a hole. Oh, He's got boy. He's tackle all the way across the 40 to the 41-yard line. That's a big first down for the Only Tigers. And the clock right now is the Wolves' enemy, Sam. It is. And well, not only that, but they've shot themselves in the foot, you know, not taking advantage of certain situations three different times tonight. And it takes a toll on the defense, too. Defense came out, made some great stops, but now, you know, they start to get a little bit worn out. So. And it looks like that's going to wrap it up. The All Tigers aren't going to make a play here in the nope. end of the third quarter. Only leads 27 14 as we end the third quarter. We're going to take a quick break here from one of our sponsors, and we'll be right back here on the Behind the Mic Show special presentation of Flora Wolves Football, presented by Car Corral Polaris. Keith Gibson, Sam Irwin back here at Dancy Field as we get ready to begin the fourth quarter. 27-14, the only Tigers lead the Floor Wolves here on homecoming for the annual Shriners game. And Sammy, uh, Wolves have had some opportunities. I miss those opportunities tonight, but they're still in the ball game. Yeah, and you know, they've made a game out of it. There's still some opportunities out there. If the defense can make a hold, you know, hold them here, get a chance, you score, there's still plenty of time left. Uh, but man, there's just, 
the, once again, the missed opportunities is, is going to come back to haunt for. If they yeah, don't win this game, they will think back on this yeah. and, man, we had our chances. Yeah, Daniel Day-Lewis with a pick uh, uh, early in the first half and a uh, nice return and weren't mm -hmm. able to score. Mm -hmm. Defense has made some stops here in the second half and just haven't been able to put it in yet. Right. The Tigers start the fourth quarter, first and ten from their own 42. Foster in the shotgun. He's going to look for a screen again out to the right side. That's number 12. That's Bergner. Yeah. Miller again. Oh, Miller, excuse me, and he will pick up about seven. Nice play. So second and they're going to give him six to the 48. And now so second and four from the 48. Ooh, they're going right. five wide. Watch for the quarterback draw here. We saw it earlier tonight. Nope, he's going to drop back and throw it. Got a man open. Up the oh, open incomplete. Through. Now he's here, covered. Yeah. Taking over while taking a drink. Right. <laughs> well, here's here's the situation on that. You're up by 13 in the fourth quarter. The clock's running, and then you throw an incomplete pass to stop the clock. That only helps Flora. That's right. That does. So you so might third get back to running. Here. Dorn's had a heck of a night. Let him run the ball. So third and four for the Tigers. 11:51 to go here in the game. They lead 27-14. The Wolves need a big stop here. Handoff is and to And there's back to the no, quarterback, Foster, Reed. And, he's and he three. breaks it again. That's going to be a hole. That's going to have a flag. No, that was actually just a great block by 12. He had him by the shoulder pad. Well, he had it up inside where you're supposed to block and kept him in that position and ended it up pancaking him. You don't see that often from a wide receiver. So Miller not only is great at catching the ball, it's a fantastic block as well for his quarterback. And a big run by Foster. Picks up the first down down to the 21-yard line of the Wolves, and that's a that's almost a backbreaker, Sammy. Yeah. Yeah. If they put it in the end zone here, you can basically warm up the buses and turn out the lights. Foster now will hand it off to Dorn up the middle, and he's brought down. Brought down by number 42, Drew Howe. That's Drew Howe. Wolves defense starting to look a little tired, too. Yeah. Well, they've been out there a lot. So. Second and five after that five-yard game by Dorn. And once again, a lot of kids playing both ways, so takes its toll. Foster looking to pass again. No pass rush. Pass out the outside. Pick! Oh, my Big Johnson. pick! Johnson's got some running late. He's around the corner. He oh, made the oh, outside. Oh, oh, He's oh. finally going to be brought down at the only Tiger 35 yard line. Huge Big play. play by the workhorse Grant Johnson. He, okay, and that's awesome for Flora. Great play, but once again, you're up by 13 with 11 minutes left, and you're throwing you the ball around. This drive. Well, Flora has to score, but only has no need to put the ball in the air. Just no, run the ball run with football. Dorn. Yep. I'm not sure. I'm not understanding what was going on there, but we'll. But Floor will take it. So, so first and ten, Wolves at the their own 35-yard line. 11:04 to play in the ball game. Floor 12, 27-14. Huge stop right there for a big play by Johnson right there. Now once again, open it up, get out there. Tight formation here, Sammy. And we're and a handoff to Johnson around the right side. Switches hands. Well, that's Gibson and picks up about eight. Nice run by Gibson there. Yeah, well, they, say my own name. Yeah, right? Yeah, especially when they're successful at football. Uh, but <laughs> a big run. Uh, so not, well, nice run. 40, so right. But four. once again, where's the urgency from Flora? They're standing around. We're huddled up. Move, move. You're running out of time. I'm not sure there's a lot of energy left. They've, they've played a lot of these guys playing both ways. You're starting to see the depth now. So maybe take yeah. effect here. But you got to take some Second shots four, here. Take a shot. Shotgun formation. Takes the handoff, and that is Johnson. Nope, that's Drew Howe with the carry to the 30 or 44. He's going to bring up third and short here. Man, come on, come on, come on. Third and one for the Wolves. Ten minutes to play now. They've got to get your right Sammy. Yeah. Now you're seeing it. Now there's no I, urgency. We've got this to get clock the is not quicker. stopping. You know, we're down to ten minutes now. You're down by 13. Football. Under ten to play. Floor 12's 27-14. Third and one from their own 44. Still in tight formation. Got to get that first get down. First down. That'll yep. run up the middle. And that run's going to be by... Drew Howe. Drew Howe again. Yeah. So Tackett now going to look. Howe's a big boy. Look at those thighs. Yeah. Yeah. He's. I like that. Yeah. He's a First player. First and ten Wolves. Mm -hmm. Nine forty-four to play. Mm -hmm. 
But once Wolves. again, there's no man. I'm. Uh, Tackett's got to get them up the line a little quicker yeah. here, and see if we can get some some offense moving. First and ten from the, their own 46. Tight formation besides Wiles out left. Hellman shotgun takes a snap, hand off to Howe. Howe makes a nice cut. He's going to get to midfield and about the 48 yard line. And, and, and once again, this is great and all, but now we're going back to tight whenever spread and getting outside and throwing the ball around was getting you the quick scores that you needed. So I'm not sure. Maybe they're giving the defense a little breather here, kind of letting him catch it, get ready. That, you really don't have time. It's like this at this point, you just got to suck it up and play. So. <laughs> They got to get moving here. 14 only leaves Florida. And what's been a, a very well we thought maybe would not end up like this. Florida's held only scoreless here in the second half. I'm impressed by that. Yeah. Eight four has really to stepped up. Game. Second and six from the Wolves from the Only Tiger 49 yard line, just over midfield. Helm in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Makes the pass. Looking left. He's got nowhere to go. And drug down in the backfield for a sack. And now we got a flag and on the play. Flag. Face mask, perhaps? Face mask. Face mask, face mask on only, only, only gives them 15 only yards. That's, That's a, 15 a big yard flag penalty. right there. Down for the and it also stops the clock. It does stop the clock with 8.30 to go. Man, another golden opportunity for Flora here. What is that? It's an automatic first down right there. They haven't moved in. So how do you call a fake? Okay, well, that's but interesting. We have second and two now for the Wolves hmm. instead of a loss. That's a handoff to Johnson around the right side. It looks like he's going to get across the 45, but not quite the first down. It's going to bring up third and short. I am not understanding. Oh, I'm what did not, did not. Uh, I guess a five-yard five face mask but still, doesn't give you a automatic first. That's a 15. Interesting. Well, they got the first down here at least. Oh, so, it yeah. so it must not have been a, a flagrant face mask, right. apparently. Just accidental, I guess. I don't know. But. All because it happened with the first down. The Wolves are going to get first and 10 at their own 40, at the Tiger 44. Well, and the clock had also stopped there for a while on that. And, and now the they're Coach stopping. Matt, Coach Matt Music wants a measurement. I think we're getting a measurement, yep. Yeah. So the timeout once you know again. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say another back to action chiropractic timeout. Called Dr. Katie Burmeister today to schedule an appointment with locations in Flora and Salem. So. Yes, uh, yeah. uh, but you get to see the chain game. Oh. Oh, that's the sound of the man. Get back. <laughs> And once again, we want to thank our presenting sponsor, Car Corral Polaris. Visit Car Corral Polaris in Flora, Fairfield, and Carmine for all your road and ATV needs. Call 618-662-2641 or visit carcorralpolaris.com. Oh, and it wasn't a first down. Oh, sure. Really kind of wondering why the officials didn't measure that anyway. Yeah. When it's that close, you got to measure it. So, Well, here's basically your ball game. If Flora can't get this first down, and it's a matter of inches. You go Keith quarterback gets sneak here. Yeah, I mean, that's just simple. Get him under center, go on center snap, silent count. Looks like that's maybe what's coming. Yep. Oh, he got it easily, easily too. Easily. Yep. Helm gets the first down easily. Yep. Uh, picks up a couple that's yards easy. there. So that's a quick stop of the clock to move the chains. But Flora's got to get on the – surely they've got, you know, some type of fast-paced offense. Get them up there, a no-huddle offense, and get them going. He's limping just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Limping a little bit. Uh -huh. I mean, He's been taking some shots tonight. Yeah. 8.09 to go here in the fourth quarter at Dancy Field, homecoming. The Wolves trailed 27-14 to the Only Tigers. Only, 12, tri only led 27-7 at half. The Wolves lone score in the second half, a 53-yard touchdown from Helm to Michael Bush. The Wolves have actually dominated this half, but they got to keep taking advantage. Oh, we're going a little more spread here. Maybe put the ball in the air, yep. He's got him, he's, he's got him. He's, he's got, got a step. step. Looking deep, and it's going to be And a guess who? That's Miller with his seventh pick of the year. Ball was underthrown a little bit. Yeah. And well, Miller with the INT at the 7:42 mark. Well, and here's the situation too, uh, Keith Gibson. They know Miller has six picks on the year, and that's the guy you go at. Now they got him earlier in the game on a double move. That was just a straight fly. He can well, keep up with that. Well, but, but I think it's, it was underthrown too. I think if that ball's thrown over the top, right. I don't think he gets there. Yeah. But, uh, but you don't, but it's the INT, you know. So the Tigers will take over with 742 in the go in the game. But he's obviously First their best defensive back. You might want to look elsewhere. So that hurts. That hurts. But Florida defensively has played well. Maybe they can get the ball back quickly. 
Do you think Olney's going to throw at this point? I would be surprised if that happens. <laughs> <clears throat> Foster in the shotgun, one wide receiver right, two left. Dorn in the backfield for the Tigers. And it will be a handoff to Dorn up the middle, and he's got a hole. There he's going to be a hole. Uh oh. He's around the left. He's across the 40. Oh, boy, he's the quick. 50. And across the wolf where he's still not down and finally brought down at the huge run. Yard line. And that might be a backbreaker right there. A big run by the Tigers running back, Gavin Dorn, a 5'9", 175 pound junior. Quick. Once he, and he's, yeah, he's very quick, very sudden. You know, he can make some he was moves. On that run yeah, too. he was. Followed his blockers and then made a nice move. He's had a big night. And handoff to Dorn again up the middle on first down. And Boy, they're just gashing him now. Get across the uh, 35 to about the 33 of the Wolves. And they eight. Yeah, and that was a big turnover. SIWI turnover. That was. Yeah. If you're having turnovers with your workforce and trouble finding good help, like I do on, on a weekly basis while I'm buying the mic show, <laughs> contact SIWI at 618-662-7494. Stop by their office in downtown Florida. 27-14, Tigers lead, 6.50 to play in the fourth quarter. And Nancy Field, another hand Oh, big nice stop. stop. That's Landon back again. We've called that name a lot tonight. Oh, Gee, Landon Silverback. He's just a big kid out there just like causing problems. Plays. Yes, absolutely. He's a beast, man. So it's going to make it third and short for the Tigers. Mm -hmm. Well, all you got to do is give it to Dorn here. I think if you're, if you're floor, you blitz here. Bring it. You, bring got, it you got to. Bring yep. it out, 619 to go. You've got to make a big stop. Yep. Really could use another turnover here. Quarterback. And oh, and it, quarterback oh, keeper by Foster. Oh, I don't think he got it. Boy, that's going to be close. He's going to be short. I think he one. is. Yep. Great job wow. there by the Wolves. Yep. Guess who there again? Guess who? Lane back. Silverback. <laughs> Great stop. He's played one heck of a game. He really has. And they're going for it. Fourth and one. I would say watch for quarterback right up the middle right here. here Sammy. That's just to pull people out of the middle. I can see the quarterback looking like he's going to throw and just run a quarterback draw. And that's yep. what he's doing. There he goes. And he got it. He didn't need much. Yeah, he got the first down across it. the 35, across the 30. Yep. And the and Wolves are running out of time. Tigers first down with 5.25 to go. Yep. They throw 27-14. And that's an excellent play call. It really is. He I didn't need much. in college football. Yes. 100%. Cord back, keeping it right up the for a yep. couple yards. Yeah. Yep, when you just need a couple. That's all they needed. And plus, when you got a stud athlete like that, they could have given it to Dorn, but also with that, at least it takes people out of the box, makes it a lot easier to find the hole, get you a couple yards. The play there. What's that? A good job digesting the play there. Good yeah, job. thank you. I appreciate that, yeah. I have <laughs> fun tonight, I don't know about you. I have too, yes, absolutely. A lot of fun. So, first and 10 for the Tigers from the Wolves 30. Five minutes to play in the ball game. They lead 27-14. Pass out the right side to Miller. And Miller will be brought down after about a game of six or seven here. And that clock is ticking. Wolves are running out of time. And I tell you what, though, the floor of the crowd has been lined up along the fence, up the bleachers. They have stayed all night and showed support. And you know what? Overall, even if only gets a touchdown here, Flora has played very well. In the second half. In the second half especially. They really have. The first came half out. killed them. Yeah, I mean, it really, it did, really did. And uh, you yeah. know, when you go down the half 27-7. It's hard to come back, it especially is. when you got an offense that's not built for that. But they made some adjustments. Defense played well. Uh, but unfortunately, I think they may run out unless they get another turnover. But Foster, I don't think you're going to see the ball go in the air much. No. Foster with a keeper to the left side. Yep. He picks up the first down for the Tigers. And that'll be down to the 16-yard, 17-yard line, looks like. Get another Ford of Tuscola. First down, small town field, great big deal. It's called Ford of Tuscola for your next vehicle at 217-253-3353. Proud partner of the Behind the Mic Show. First and 10 for the Tigers, 3.50 to go tick, here tick, in tick, the fourth tick, quarter. Tick, 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 tick. Mm -hmm. I think you'll see a handoff. It is to Dorn yep. up the middle, and Dorn oh, is met. Oh. Right up the middle, that was Grant Johnson there. But he's still able to pick up two or three yards. That clock's just a running. 
Second and eight now with 3.30 to go in the ball game. And, you know, Coach Tackett will join us. He said he'll come up and talk to us uh, after the ball game. And Coach Music's going to join us as well. Nice. Um, but, uh, you know, it's – they both both guys got to be proud of the ball club. Oh, right? yeah. Well, you know what? And just like Coach Music said, it's going to be a hard-fought ball game, and it has been that. Both sides have – I mean, these kids played hard tonight. Ball up the middle. Dorn has it around the left side. He's got one man to beat, gets a block, and that's going to be an only Tiger touchdown. Touchdown. Tiger touch one on here late in the fourth quarter. That'll do it. With 3-11 yeah. to go in the ball game. It's now 33-14. Well, even though, you know, she's a Flora fan, that's still a country financial Lisa Erbacher touchdown right there. So if you need a quote, call her today at 662-3344. Stop in her office downtown. Really nice office, by the way. I was in there today. Beautiful. Smells of fall in there. A nice what pumpkin candle. Oh. It's like pumpkin and leaves. Just wonderful. Just wonderful. I felt like I needed a nice hot cocoa. My max detailing <laughs> extra point on its way. My max detailing offering fall cleanup. Call Doug Spitzer today to schedule your appointment for the annual Halloween parades at 618-335-5763. And the extra point oh, is up and missed. no good. Yeah. Well, Sammy. Yeah, I think 19 point lead with three minutes, 11 seconds left. I think they're going to be okay. 3-11 to go here in the fourth quarter. I'm only leads 33-14. Uh, we we want to thank, and before we, we end this tonight, and maybe if we forget, oh, we got a little second here, Sammy. I want to thank you for coming up and doing this with me. I enjoyed it, absolutely. Uh, we don't get to do this very often together, so we do appreciate that. I want to thank Coach Bobby McNeely, um, the athletic director for uh, Floor High School, for allowing us to come in and do this tonight. Uh, I want to thank my wife for allowing me to come all the way down here and, and do this with you. Uh, Coach Brian Tackett and Coach Matt Music for joining us on the show. And Coach Music was one of the first people who came up and said hi to us. Yes, he did. So yes, he did. A great guy. Very classy guy. Well. Good dude. But uh, thank you to our listeners. You know, we haven't, uh, to be honest with you, we haven't had a whole lot tonight, Sammy, but it's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Once again, most of our people are, you know, here. You know, watching tonight, and it is Friday night football all around Southern Illinois. So uh, we'll put it on the website. That's people right. can listen to it later if you want to listen to it. That's fine. Get a little playback. Do a little bit of editing. Eh. Shorten it down a little bit. Right? Well, yeah, we can shorten it down. Sure, why not? Yeah, you know. It gives me something to do too. That too. <laughs> Right, in case it's slow tomorrow, <laughs> why not, right? But no, no it's been, it's been a lot of fun. I don't do that at work. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. No, only over your lunchtime. Right. Uh, but no, it's, it's been a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, and Flora's, Flora's shown a lot of grit tonight. They really have. Right. They, they could have laid down. They came up. They played tough in the second half. They're not going to win seven, tonight. It's 7-7 in the second half. It is. It really is. They have played them. And actually, they've outplayed them up until that very last drive. But once again, to get worn out. But, you know, and oh, that's oh, that interesting. Bounce. Ooh. That's taken by, looks like John McGee, the freshman. Yep. So the ensuing kickoff gets a kind of a squid kick. It's a high bounce McGee there. Man, I tell you what. Brings it back to the 35. You are a freshman playing against a school of 850 kids, and he's been in on several plays. Yes. So that's impressive. And me as a freshman, man, I couldn't even imagine. With Randy Ellis and all them out there. Woo! Oh, Woo! Hey, Sam, yeah. <laughs> I'm not so sure, you know. Boys were a little bit bigger back then. Well, I guess so, yeah. But uh, so Ollie's person, got some big kids, that's for sure. All right, let's see what Florida can do. Can they put some points on the board? Anything could happen in the Bulls old game of football. Bulls first and 10 here from the 35. Hand off to Johnson around the left side. He'll get out to the 38-yard line. So nice pick up about three or four there. Uh, what fun. What fun we're having. We are. Somebody, I, we don't know who it is, but... Uh, I know exactly who it is. Yeah, that is Wes Turner <laughs> making comments on our site as he always likes to be. We have the eloquence of Jim yep. Nance and Tony But you know what, a shout out to Wes Turner, because I tell you what, whenever he played here, is this game's kind of in hand. Florida's still, you know, put, we're rolling out right. Helm, Helm runs out right, pass and cross, and... Skipped it. Skipped it. Incomplete. Yeah, but I tell you what, been 25 years ago, but I tell you what, Wes Turner was one of the hardest nosed players of all time. And I'm not saying that in a smart aleck fashion. That kid. That's a first. Yeah, right. I, I'm being sincere as, as sincere as heck. I'll keep it PG. But he played defensive end. He played fullback. Shot after shot after shot. I don't ever remember him taking a play off the field the entire time he played it for. Came from Louisville. Uh, I wish that they would do something with Louisville again and co op. So, you know. Laner says yep. phenomenal fullback. And Brian Lane agrees. So, yeah, exactly right. He Bulls was fantastic. Bulls here, 2.32 to go in the fourth quarter. They trail 33-14 to the Albany Tigers on homecoming night. Helm in shotgun. 
Now we're all right, looking to pass. Oh, and nice pass, complete. outside. Get out of bounds. That looks like that's Alex Wiles there, there on the go. outside. Nice. Well, he'll they finally threw him the ball. Good. He's been open a lot tonight, so they finally got to him. And get him. And Brian Lane, no slouch himself, I'll tell you that. Great tackle. And Wes Turner, you know. I've heard him an even better person. Well, I've heard, he, you know what, he is a fantastic person. He is. And I tell you what, he walks with Johnny. I'll tell you that. He's a, he's a, he's a good man. So a complete but, uh, pass to Wiles brings to the 49 yard line. We're at 226 to go here in the ball game. Lord trails by 19. Running now a I sweep. hand off to Johnson around the left side. No, that's not Johnson. That's, that's Daniel Day Lewis. That's Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah. That's right. Lewis Got out of bounds. Five to the 44. So it'll be second and five. Keith, I tell you what, with who I've been impressed with tonight was definitely Helmet quarterback. I do think, you know, with another year under his belt, I think next year. I think the kid's going to be a stud, and I think they're going to be able to expand this offense and put a lot more on him instead of run up the middle, run up the middle. I think he's got the tools. He just needs some more time uh, to develop. But he's he's impressed me tonight, getting to watch him in person. But now it's all it's all him right now. Five wide. Oh, oh, batted down, batted down. So Helen the pass and batted down by the defense. Brings up third and five. They are now under two minutes to play in the ball game. These hats are nice. Mitch they, Slaughter did a great job of it. You know what tails. they really did? These are fancy. They're, they fit well. I like them. Breathable, as we like. So, yep. Good times. So third and five, minute 58 to go for the Wolves. They have the football at the only Tiger 44-yard line. And but also, you know, Wes Turner, as we talked about, even better person, he's taken in like a herd of goats. He's just got goats all over the house and takes care of them, feeds them, and loves them. You know, goats, goats need love to. That's right. So he's, he's a big fan of the goats. right, looks short, and that nice. is complete to John McGee, the freshman. And McGee's going to be close to first And down, a flag. And, and a flag. And a flag. That's going to stop the clock for a little bit. What do we got here? Where'd the flag come from? Uh, well, over where the tackle is at on the far side. We're going to have a late hit. Might have a late hit. A minute 50 left. Only up 33-14. Floor driving now. Personal foul. Horse collar. So, shot to the head. Are you pointing out your head? What's, what's the signal for that? I don't, you know what? I'm not sure what kind of officiating crew we have tonight, but it's been confusing. But yeah, apparently it was helmet, you know, helmet helmet contact. They're getting 15 out of that. Uh, hopefully the kid's all right. Well, that's all right. It'll be first and 10 for the yes. Wolves. Is it minute 50 to go here in the fourth quarter? From the, uh oh, we got a timeout on the field. Got a timeout on the field. Coach Music says, we're going to take a little timeout here, boys. Yeah. We will too. Yeah. We'll sit back. Once again, a little timeout from Back to Action Chiropractic called Dr. Katie Burmeister. Day to schedule an appointment with locations in Florida and Salem. Or you know what? Call Loretta Hutchins at home. Send her a message on Facebook. <laughs> She's available at all times. So just do that. She'll help She'll you out. She'll kill you. Uh, perhaps. <laughs> but also, once again, thanks to our main sponsor, Car Corral. Uh, Car Corral in, at Polaris, yes. easy for me to say, but visit them in Flora, Fairfield, Carmi, they're all over the place. Uh, they'll ship it anywhere, as Where we said. Israel. Israel, Israel, yeah, that is not in the United States, just in case you didn't know that. Thank you, my job. Yeah. <laughs> but go by and see them, that is an impressive place. Uh, Ford of Tuscola, once again, want to thank them. Uh, Country Financial, Lisa Erbacher, once again, she's doing a ton for this town. Great person. Does a ton for us, too. I mean, Oh, yeah. man, yeah. Every time we say, hey, we're going to do something. And it's not it. just us. She gives and gives and gives to the community. Uh, so hopefully the community can give back to her. Uh, My Max Detailing, Doug Spitzer's done a great job. Night for Fireworks as well. Definitely, if you need your car clean, go by and see him. The pictures speak for themselves. And SIWI for all your workforce needs. All right, so first is in for the Wolves. A Florida Tuscola first down. First in there on, at the Tiger 22. And we go around the right, left side of Johnson. Johnson's going to fight, and he keeps fighting. Uh, may have lost a couple there. And you know, we want to give a shout out to uh, Kelby Turner. Great kid, Wes Turner's boy. Great kid. Word is he's a big fan of yours. Loves your tiny hands. Well, you know, it's the faux hawk, tight shirts and the small hands. <laughs> so shout out to Kelby. We always like to have fans. Glad I got one. <laughs> All right, now we're going to put the ball in the air here. Two and two, second and eight, a minute and 18 to go in the ball game. 
Helm looks looks right, got and that's going to be flat. complete nice. to McGee. Daniel Day Lewis again. Or Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah. I can't see. I've got a head in front of me. I, I know go. it's it's yeah, I know it's foggy out there now. You know, fog's rolling in. Well, Floor's driving the ball again. They're, once again, Floor is not giving up, and that's impressive out of a young squad. They fought back. They stayed in this game. They could have got blown out, third and it was five, looking that way, but they did five, not. Third five, one minute to play here in the ball game, and you know there's still a great crowd here tonight. There I wanna, is. I want to I once again thank Coach Brian Tackett and, and uh, the athletic director Bob McNeely for allowing us to be here tonight. As Helms in the shotgun, third and five. And got some pressure. Oh, got some they got to him that time. Go, that's going to be a sack. Sack by number 33, Troy McDaniel. Got the pressure. So the Wolves will have one play left. In. And a flag. Yet another flag. That's going to be, I, that's, I think that's I don't know. I see, I see 76 with his hands up, but now he's clapping. So it might be on Flora. Unsportsmanlike on Flora. Uh-oh. And someone is coming out of the game. Oh, and on only so penalties were oh all set. okay maybe a little jawing going on there after the sack oh and yet another unsportsmanlike but that's declined Those as well offset. So offset. We have four. Ooh, okay a little extra a little extra cricket activity after that one so when's the last time you had extra cricket activity <laughs> that's none of your business i'll thank you for staying out of my personal affairs but <laughs> So, so. Hey, by the way, you will have a new, brand new My High the Mic show on Thursday, mm -hmm. uh, next Thursday, uh, CheapSeatsBar.com. You can join us, Sam and I, there. We'll, of course, have Coach Brian Tackett on. And uh, next week, Sam doesn't get any easier for the Wolves. They've got Newton. Oh, always tough. Yep, Newton, always tough. Carlisle, Paris, the last three. Right. And, so, basically, uh, they're at a point. they got to win two out of three to get in. two out of three yeah. to secure. Right. A shot, you know, yeah. uh, and I do think they Carlisle. I think will definitely be a win for them. Uh, but yeah, getting in Paris is no slouch. That's for sure. And Newton, Newton always plays tough, so they, they got they got a little pressure on them now. So. Thirty-three, fourteen. The score only leads with twenty-nine point three seconds to go here in the ball game. And and I, I want to make let everybody know that this has been a seven-seven ball game in the second half. Yes, it has. Totally different it half. A, it was. Tail of two halves for Coach Tackett. I'm sure we'll talk to him about that right. uh, when he comes up. And once again, as we talked, we've said it a bunch, but I think this is a game four should have won. They had opportunities. They did. And they just didn't capitalize on those opportunities. A big kickoff return, an interception that they didn't cash in on. Fourth and 11 for the Wolves. Helm drops back. Ton of pressure. Oh, oh, takes off. Takes off. Misses the tackle. Protect that ball. And nice short of the first down. It'll be a turnover yep. on down. And they drop the pressure again and out of the ball game. Yep, the old the favorite formation that the coach likes to call coming up. The old victory formation. Five wide. No, <laughs> it's just chuck it deep. <laughs> It's not Steve Spurrier coaching oh, out there. Oh. Yeah, not Steve Spurrier. But That's you know what? It's called playing, playing my video games with five wide. Right. And, and hey, once again, and kudos to Only. They're a really good team. I they think are. they're going to do well in the playoffs. Very uh, good team. And, but the Wolves, Wolves never gave up. Too. No, they did not. They did yeah. not give up yep. tonight. They fought, yep. fought, fought. The defense made adjustments at halftime. Yep. 23 seconds to go here as the Only Tigers will go into victory formation and take a knee. And that'll be a win for the Tigers. As they will move to five and one, the Floor Wolves will drop to four and two on the season and look forward to week seven against the New Eagles. We'll stay right here with it and everything, and we're going to have Coach uh, Matt Music hopefully up here af after the game and Coach Brian Tackett, and we'll get to talk to them as well. But I know one thing, Sam, I'm running out of voice. <laughs> Hard to believe. I thought you were talking in your sleep. Can't believe it. No, I fall out of bed and get my sleep. You got to tell that story to our listeners well, that are okay, still so home. Well, yes, I'm sleeping. All right. And I was, I was uh, dreaming that I was trying to sell a car. Well, the person I was trying to sell a car to, Sam, um, got in and I got in the passenger seat and she took off. Right. Okay. And went over a curb. Okay. And then turned left onto the highway. Right. Well, I didn't have the door shut, so I dreamt that I was falling out the door. Well, I wasn't only dreaming that, Sam. I actually fell out of bed, hit my head on the nightstand, <laughs> and landed on the floor. <laughs> concussed. You might be concussed. Maybe that's my problem. Right. <laughs> so I'm overweight. But luckily, oh. I was going to say, the cowbell, the cowbell. But you know what? 
you even with that massive head injury, you still drove down here today. Oh yeah, I wouldn't you still it. put on a show tonight. And that's it, overcoming the odds. And I'm it proud is. of you for making well, you. it. Even after Final score here, 33-14. Yeah. We'll take it with the loss. And this is cool. Only comes over. So do the floor players. They go over, they salute the crowd and applaud them for what the crowd's been cheering for them all night. Very cool. Now only he's going down to celebrate with uh, looks like some students that of course came to watch the game. But uh, Olney's played well. They're coached well. Uh, they are. They're very, and they have, they have a high-powered offense. I yes, mean, they do. And kudos to the Floor Wolves defense mm -hmm. in the second half as well. Right. Well, I tell you what. If I'm an upcoming team that's getting ready to play Olney, and I'm looking at the game film, I'm watching that second half real close of what Floor did defensively. Agreed. There were some adjustments made, and uh, it was definitely a tale of two halves there. But Olney had a big enough lead that they built up in the first half. And once again, Floor not taking advantage of situations and kind of, what would you call the offense in the first half of Flora? Pathetic. It was very vanilla. It was. For sure. And, uh, you know, I, I'm sure there was a game plan going on, but I think they will look back on this game with regret that, uh, and once again, they didn't want to get in a shoot, shootout. I understand that. But when you're down, you know. They got down early. I mean, that, yeah. I think the first drive really set the tone for uh, mm -hmm. for the Tigers. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, 31 seconds drive, three plays, 69 yards, and 31 seconds and a touchdown. Um, you know, that set the tone for the ball game. Mm -hmm. And then I think that's what we're, we, uh, yeah. Ford of Tuscola has a large lot full of new and pre-owned vehicles. Check out their great financing, friendly staff, and professional service center to help you get the most from your next vehicle. Make the short drive to Tuscola and find a great deal on your next car or truck.